play this game. So we're going to go ahead and go with the popular merchant. Uh, I guess the character models are moving slowly. There we go. Yeah, I guess that stuff just loads slowly. We're going to be rolling with the uh, with the with the popular merchant because of the increased drop rate. If it's your first time playing, I highly recommend going with the old uh, the young warrior here because the young warrior uh, it says feature balanced and easy to use. What it doesn't tell you is that he gets a full uh, health refill every time he levels up, which is especially useful in the early game. I don't know shit about the plot of this game. It's really not that good. And I'm like a guy who writes books about video game stories. So like, if it was any good, I'd tell you. You have to pick hell. If you pick heaven, the game starts over. The game always kind of gets the camera always gets a little bit right here. The, uh, the, the, uh, Frame rate, frame rate gets kind of shitty right there. So we're gonna open this up. Just teaches us how to open stuff. We're gonna do some. So you also see these shiny things, mushrooms. Mushrooms are great. I mean, all food's great, but um, mushrooms are. Um, you want mushrooms? I don't know if they can get the other right now, I don't think there ever is. I guess when you have a crappy, uh, when you set it to low quality, you can see these texture seams and shit like that. And you can see that drop on the ground. See, look at that. With the popular merchant, we've got two... Two out of three of these guys drop something. I'm going to pick these up. These are called Soul Stones. Uh, they, uh, they just, they just tell you what, you know, the descriptions just tell you what Soul Stones they are. Um, you can see the benefits here, where eventually, there's basically something like a materia system in this game, where you can put these in weapons, and, uh, and they'll, you'll get benefits in your weapons from them that benefit all kinds of stats and shit like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to equip this starter sword. And actually, let's go ahead and take care of this up here first. 
for the record, if you're thinking of playing this game, and if you've already bought the PS4 version, just go ahead and keep playing it. But if you're going to play this game, I would actually recommend getting a... I would seriously recommend getting the PC version instead of the uh, PS4 version. Combat works a lot like, uh, you know, just uh, solid... Gen oh, shit, there's meat here. Um, there's there's just a lot of... Uh, hold on a second. There's just a lot of, uh, you know, typical dungeon crawler mechanics. The combat's basically like, you know... Um, like, just like kite the enemies. You just want to kite them. So what I did is I pulled that I pulled that guy close to me. I had him attack, do his regular attack, and then I finished him off. Um, that's a uh, jumping heavy attack. There's some jumping attacks in this game. Uh, once again, you can see that I'm just picking up hella fucking, uh, like, I'm just getting hella drops because, uh, I mean, a lot of times you, you play characters in other games or you get buffs in other games and say, like, oh, this increases your luck, this increases your drop rate, and it's, like, minuscule, and it doesn't feel like it works that well, and it's the complete opposite of the final final. You pick this guy, you'll get all kinds of fucking drops. He's super good. As you can see, you don't have a backstab mechanic, you just have a back attack thing, which is basically like a fast lever. Um, so the real reason we came down here first is uh, we're not even going to drink... Actually, since we have an extra health potion, we're going to... Uh, we're just going to go ahead and drink it, even though there's nothing uh, to it. So we're going to fill it, and now the empty bottle of the empty... Uh, the empty uh, potion bottle... Oh man, that's crunchy. Uh, the empty potion bottle becomes a water bottle. See this tiny tree here? There's a few trees like this, they'll say pour. Uh, the only thing you can pour on them is water. As you can see, pour water on them, it's to grow. So we're gonna do this a few more times. Um, pretty soon we're gonna get a run mechanic, uh, which will obviously make all this backtracking stuff go a lot faster, but we're just gonna do it this way first. As you can see from there, there's, you know, there's, like, plotted out ways to platform up stuff, but as you can, you know, other times you can use, you can just think a little more creatively. It doesn't come up that many times, but... Um, let's go ahead and eat something here. Hunger's getting below 100%. Mushrooms restored 25%, so you can see I went from 72 to 97 there. And it's going to take a few times of us watering that tree for it to grow all the way. But we're going to want to get this one, because this is... There are four trees that you can water in the game. All of them have relevant stuff to do. Um, but this one has some of the really good stuff. It'll be really, really good as soon as we get a, a, a bow to use. That mission thing isn't usually up in the corner. So... So now I actually... Okay, so now it's actually fully grown. And you can see... That's a magic fruit. That's a salt fruit. And that is a ice fruit. I'm gonna see if I can't pull something off here. Nope. Okay, I fucked that up. That's my bad. Um, we don't really have a way to get... You need a bow and arrow to get stuff off of the trees early on. Eventually we'll get a tackle mechanic that just lets us run directly into the trees, and that works too. Uh, but yeah, that, uh, we don't quite have These jars you can break for experience, and, uh, it's kind of up to you when you want to stop doing that. The game discourages it after a certain point because they're a parasite. But, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Every once in a while, I did it really quickly there, but every once in a while I just want to go ahead and, uh, um, every once in a while you'll just want to go ahead and uh, press, uh, or you press triangle to sort it. Or I guess if you're on Xbox, that would be the Y button. I think it'd be the same. It'd be the X button if you're on it.
as you can see, the food is degrading. It will rot. I actually don't use it that I actually can't think of really ever using it, but bottles are always good to have. This is actually the block mechanic. It's supposed to be for when you have a shield, but you know, I'm just doing it out of habit. I don't have a shield yet, obviously. And we're doing pretty good at healing, so. Um, you start with this amount of health. Uh, the little the five little emblems represent that I have 500 health. It's not a great system for visualizing it, but it is what it is. Um, since I have 300 damage. I'm going to go ahead and just drink one. Like this is just how I already got the chest. Pause. This opens up teleporter. That'll be cool later. Go ahead and do this. Uh, the bonfires are save points. The game will be auto saving Kella all the time though, so you don't need to worry about it that much. So this is a so this is your inventory system. It's like a wheel. It lets you access every section of your inventory: food, bottles, bombs. Uh, I forget exactly what this is. Soul stones, keys, weapons. But then another feature they have is that when you hold L1, you can swap between the weapons real quick like this. It's good stuff. I actually, I mean, some people have been super critical of it. I think it's really great because like. You can just you can find anything in your inventory really, really quickly. These light mushrooms, when you eat them, they make uh, light sources. Oh, this is good. Yeah, they just tell you this is going to be a monster. Dark Souls, you're going to recognize this. this is just quoted straight up. This is literally the exact same thing as the original Dark Souls with the hallway. I can't remember if Demon Souls did the same thing. I don't like those games. If you know me, you don't. You know I don't. Like hey, check this out. It's only going to happen a few times in the game, but this is cool. Take a look at this. I'm going to knock this barrel over. He's going to kill that motherfucker dead. already getting hella, hella soul stones, which are good to have. So, here's the cool thing about soul stones, which we're literally about to see right here. Although we're gonna get this book first. So you get books. You can read books. I read this book. Read this book. Hold down L3. Dash back to normal. Blah, blah, blah. No, it's great stuff. Now, we have this. 
what it is is that we can put these soul stones into books, into, into the book. And that allows you to, uh, well, really, it just tells you about the enemy, but the real benefit of it is that any enemy that you put in the book, you get more experience from that enemy. And this will also tell you, um, it'll tell you their level. Um, I guess there are levels of soul stones that you can get for the enemies. I'm not too worried about that, but it'll tell you what kind of drops you can get from the enemies, which is really cool. That gives you the monster lore of the thing you're interested in. Uh, and a lot of them are kind of clever. They melt when they absorb salt. That's worth noting if you just want an instant kill for them souls. Uh, uh, for them, uh. Hmm. Jellyfish, they live on land. Yes, I do. I guess the item description has to be more clever than the monster description. Mushroom. If you're worried about the meat rotting, that's fair, but don't worry about it. Bone. Bones might seem useless, right? And they are. But they do have a use. Um, these broken swords, I mean, the broken sword's literally useless. We're not going to use it for anything. I think it's just a nice little thing. You know, that the broken swords just environmental decoration. But what you have is, uh, anytime you pick up a new item, it's worth experience. You get an experience. So, it's just worth saving them. I wouldn't, like, break your items just to get new experience, like, whatever. Yeah, That's not yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the music all the way down. We need to take care of that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. The music in this game is terrible. Just turn it off. The music is really bad. So, hey, welcome to home base. There's a few things to take care of. Oh, when you're at home base, you don't burn any stamina, so just run around. Just, like, just run the fuck around. Go over here. There's a chest. Every single time you come here, there'll be a heal potion. This will not always be the case, so take advantage of it while it's, while it's here. At some point later in the game, they take this away from you. Uh, there's a chest up there. We're going to be able to get it later. Don't worry about it for now. Go up here. This chest always has some kind of food in it. Same thing. You're not always going to have it, so take advantage of it now. Um, this home base has a bunch of different... Um, has, a whole, has a bunch of different, uh, like, links to different areas. But they're all locked out now. And you know what? This is looking... I'm not, I'm not helping this game look its best. So what we're going to do... We're going to save. We're going to quit. bottles there um, and since we don't need this nature soul stone it's not a really good uh, soul stone to have um, what we can do is this is a this this person who levels you up is also a basic merchant so let's sell it because it's worth some money oh I guess that one will not worth that much money that's fine that's fine we already read this book so we can sell this too um, a lot of your basic stuff isn't worth a lot of money, but these light mushrooms are. They're worth 100, so they're worth getting rid of. Uh, the flame bottle, I don't think it's worth that much, so just get rid of it. Um, the flame bottle just, it sets fires. You know, if you find a use for it, that's great, but don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not too into it. We've already got a flame staff. We're going to want a copper sword as soon as we can get it. Um, and... Um, it's going to be better to save up for this leather helm and leather armor and copper sword. Do take note of the strength requirements. We're going to need strength of 
we need to use those. So let's go ahead and enhance our strength to three. Uh, you don't need to worry about this if you are using the Royal Knight. The Royal Knight bypasses all uh, equipment requirements. It's good stuff. So let's do that. And then max HP. I'm going to turn up our... Guard is a good one because the more weight you can carry, that's, I mean, that's great. And then handling as well make, uh, makes weapons not break as fast. And you can see this is also turning up our uh, our uh, our uh, our resistances to all of the elements, which is great. So take care of that. That seems like a good move for now. Uh, let's go over all these life. Um, you know, life is health. You know, health is good. Skill uh, skill is just the handling stat, so I don't think it's very good. Stamina is is good. Stamina is is you know you remember the endurance stat from the fucking uh, from Dark Souls like it's kind of like that. Intelligence uh, we're gonna need to eventually buff our intelligence to use some spells, but it's not a concern right now. And then magic amount is literally just your MP total, so it's not huge. Oh Oh yeah, I got more. Okay, so let's get all this money out. Okay, so this, so you can also make this a bank. This is copper points, so you can put in CP, reduce, you know, take out CP, held CP, kept CP. So I can put in all my money. I can also take out all my money. Um, so now I've got all this money. So let's go ahead and let's get this. Um, let's get this leather armor. This leather armor is a good. One. Let's get this. And so now that we've got the leather armor, we don't need this traveler shirt. Actually, you know what? So instead of that, I'm actually going to put the traveler shirt away because somebody else might need the traveler shirt. Because there are multiple characters, and if I die, and when I die, I'm eventually going to need uh, some armor for my other characters. So I would recommend, if you have any money, when you have that money, just put it away here because the money only ever helps you here. There's no merchants anywhere else in the world. So when you have money and you come back to home base, put it here. So end of story. Period. That's it. Um, I might have wanted to consider the copper sword, but we're not going to do that. Are any of these areas open yet? No. But we'll come back to them as soon as we can. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to go ahead and open that up. this, that triggers the opening of the first Tomb of Trials. Okay, cool. And this is called the Grave of Fortune. You'll find out very quickly why it's called the Grave of Fortune. It's where you grind for money. I know I just spoiled it. Let's do this. Basic combat encounter. Uh, you can see the little horn is about to break, which is true, but that's why we're here. We're going to get some money so that we can move off this starter sword, because the starter sword is trash. It's literally just for that matter, and you don't want to be using amounts of shit. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Got that. Once again, you can see all these drops. Flame fruit is great. It helps you cook. This will boost the experience we get from beating these guys uh, when we come back through. And yeah, now the weapon's really good. The, the spirit stones are worth different. Uh, the nature soul stone, they, you know, it's it's not worth as much, but it's. Uh, We're going to take this back upstairs. As you can see, when you level up, you get an experience up boost, so it's kind of like an encouragement to, you know, just keep, keep pushing. Since we don't have any, since we're, uh, meat is good. We're going to put the fish and the meat away, though, because they're not, uh, you just don't, you just don't need it yet. You just don't need it yet. That's the, you know. So let's withdraw some money. Get this copper sword. Put that. 
and if I'm not showing this off, but as you can see, it's, it's, it's a much better sword. And we do that, I'm going to sell that starter sword and give us another 50. And we want to get that leather helm. So we're going to go back through the Grave of Fortune. If we're lucky, we might be able to do it in the time trial. Once you beat a, once you beat a, a, a one of these graves, it'll activate a time trial. And, uh, it's pretty generous on when it actually starts. doing really good. We got super lucky here. And we've beaten the time trial. When you beat the time trial, you get a reward. In this case, you get the... There, there's always the same rewards. This one's called Restraint. And that allows that... When, that, when you're... So this is a bow stone, which means you have to put it in a bow. This, this means that when you're equipped with that bow, you'll um, you'll have restraint, and that'll just prevent your hunger from falling as fast. It's uh, it's all right. So we're gonna put that in. we're gonna put that away for now. Put that bone away, and we're gonna sell these two soul stones. When you need money, this is pretty much how you get money. But at some point, money stops being a significant concern, especially because eventually you just have all this shit. You don't need it. Um, I'm gonna buy this leather helm. Uh, we don't need the traveler's shirt. We, we're gonna find arrows, so we don't need those. Don't worry about that. Um, go ahead and buy a few of these. And, yeah, let's just go ahead and blow all our money off, because you're gonna need them. To revive dead characters, you need these. Um, when a character dies, they'll, basically, they'll leave the bloodstain, you know, Dark Soul style, out in the field, and then you'll need to take another character out to go get them. So now we got our basic kit. This is what the beginning of the game tends to look like. And save. Although I didn't even do that. We'll get an auto save. I'm Durant. And uh, last time we uh, last last time we uh, we went through the Grave of Fortune. We got some money. We got ourselves kitted out in a basic way. And now we're going to go into the first uh, real dungeon of the game. Welcome to the Guardian Forest. We've got a ton of food, and, uh, you know, there's lots of enemies traipsing about. This, this, you know, this looks at least a little dangerous. Uh, when you get hit by that, it's, it's a bad deal. So you, you get like, picked up and thrown around. It's pretty weird. Tree fruit is not great on its own, but you use it to mix uh, potions later. So we're going to hold on to it. We're going to try to walk around, get all these extra stuff. So we might want some antidotes, because the other areas will have stuff. I'll show you what this one does, because this is kind of meant to like guide you through the initial forest area. We break these boxes. Yeah, get some food. Called the dividing jelly. So, uh, 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 we're being attacked by an archer. That's not great. Like that. This is the way these little things work, is that you fall into another antidote. And this is also where we can read a book. We want these tables. All of these little tables, there's ones that uh, let you read books, there's ones that let you, uh, you know. So th this takes you, once you follow that, this takes you to that door, and you're like, oh, I wonder how I'm supposed to... Get this antidote mushroom well, because that'll heal. That'll heal. Uh, that'll heal poison as well as food. So, let's eat some food. Door sealed shut. Unfortunately, there's no way to open it from here. There seems to be a switch above the door. 
Uh, if you want, you can throw something. That could work. I've never actually done that before. Obviously, if you throw bottles, if you watched the last video, you saw that uh, throwing bottles will break the bottles. But yeah, as you can see, our, our throw arc isn't quite good enough for that. It, I've never done it that way. Uh, the easy way to do it is if you go over here. We're going to go over here. Be aware of the fish. I'll just jump over harmlessly and not really do anything to you if you can pop out of life. Don't get scared. Do that. He's over here. Be careful. This guy's a bit of a trap. And here we get a bow. Well, we get a bow. These, uh, these chests like this, these always have the same stuff in them. Whereas the small chests, uh, they have somewhat random loot. Um, and a lot of items like this, like these wood arrows that we pick up here, they're, they always spawn in the same place. So we're going to go ahead and put the bow here. that, and now we should have a cycle of this, and that's great. Uh, setting magic stones, let's see if we've got, yeah, we don't have any magic stones to set, that's, uh, that's best explained later. So let's go ahead and use some, uh, use some of our copper for the solar points, as you can see, we can grind up your, uh, as you can see, you can grind up your, uh, your experience in, uh, in forging and repairing stuff. That's important. You're going to want to do that. Here's a little self-use. As you can see, are very plentiful in your audience. Just go ahead and watch on them. I mean, you, know, you can min max if you want. You don't really need to. And this should take us over here. And this will take us to the second area up here. Like this. here. That, yeah, that pickled fish always also spawns as well. And I'd go ahead and, I'd actually recommend going ahead and eating it here because uh, it'll, uh, it'll buff your defense, which is good in case you get hot, caught here. But, uh, 
Do yourself a favor, read these signs as you find them. The number of monsters ahead is unusual. If I found if found by one, they will all attack at once. They a door to the treasure will seal too. I need to make sure they don't see me. Now, it's really hard to not get seen, and uh, spoiler alerts, you don't need to not get seen. But you do need to not get seen to not die. That's that's pretty much it. As you can see, there's some overlapping control patterns here. Yep, as you can see, as you thought, now we are in significant danger. Now we are no longer in significant danger. That's a poison. Don't worry about it. Okay. So yeah, you need to be real careful. So now that so now that that's happened, this door over. Oh shit. So now that you've been caught by one of those guys, that door over there has locked. AI is being very weird right now. Oh, you know what? I think it's because his AI was activated by uh, the sound, and so it's like separate kind of AI type things going on. This, this part will kill you early on. Just, you know, don't get frustrated here. You'll get killed here a lot. I've obviously... Yeah, usually there's enemies over there. I've obviously, like, memorized the layout to a degree. So that's the hard part, to be honest. So you kind of want to avoid doing what I just did there, breaking those open for experience. Obviously, you want to avoid those lights. That sound. That sounds pretty obvious. We got a banana. Right, bana right bananas, specifically. You can get bananas, and then you can get ripe bananas. Uh, ripe bananas are better than, better than regular bananas. I feel like that part is pretty self-explanatory. Go ahead and grab one water bottle. We'll just go ahead and do that. Meat will turn into bones. We'll take that traveler shirt and put it away somewhere. Is that a flame staff? No, that's a thunder staff. Thunder staff's good. facing that way. It's like a little council meeting. We want that door. We want this key. And... Okay, so now we... Alright. So as you can see, you have a weight system. We've now officially picked up too much. We're going to drop this. Uh, drop things when you need to get rid of them. Don't throw them, because if you throw them, you'll attract enemies. Um, that's a lot of guys. I might be able to take care of them, but we're just going to avoid that. And... That was a smooth operation. That was a very smooth operation. And, uh... We could go ahead and push forward into the next area. But we've accomplished a lot today. So 
we're going to go ahead and head back to the to the regular to home base. Put some stuff away, sell some stuff, and then uh, and then we'll push forward into the next area. I mean, we think now that we entered, maybe now that we've entered the second area, a new area will open up, or maybe it's uh, I might be remembering that wrong. Obviously, you can see you've aggroed this entire area, so you know, when you've decided you want to go back to the thing, just run like hell. Let me get some more YouTube going in the background. One second here. This looks like it's infinite. It's not. You have a limited number of slots. It's not weight limited, thankfully. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a Bone Man Soul Stone? I think that is a. Yeah. Okay. A lot of these mushrooms are starting to go bad. And instead of putting the mushrooms away, because mushrooms are really plentiful, we're going to go ahead and sell them. Just for the, just for the extra skill. And we also should have, like, absolutely hell of extra points now. And all of these are worth 100, so that's nice and good. These antidotes are worth 100. Yeah, I'll keep I'll keep one of them. I'll keep one of them just in case. The game will let you sell the key. Don't. Just don't do it. Well, we can't really do that stab yet. Can we? Is it required intelligence? Or does it even have a not enough meat to use this magic? We need three meat. Uh, might as well go ahead and pump yeah, three in, yeah, just, yeah, just for the sake of it. Not that we're really going to use that that much. And I'm going to go ahead and pump stamina, because stamina is going to be, you know, like a lot of these games, it's going to be a really important resource. Oh, you know what? I think that other one opened up now that we have the bow. This is the bow trial, isn't it? The Grave of Hunters, right? Okay, so we're going to do that in a second. But we're going to run through here. Because we're going to want to put the uh, the new soul stones into the uh, uh, book. The new book. That was the heavy attack. I can do some good stuff. Combat's kind of mashy. Not gonna lie, it's not. It's not a game about combat. Yeah, 
fantastic. We'll go ahead and buy a stack there. So oh, that's not a stack, it's a... Yeah, sure. Just got two stacks of players. There we go. Yep, we're going to the stack. Put our money away. Any of this extra stuff we want to put away. We're going to put away this traveler shirt. That'll be for somebody else. We're going to put these tree fruits away. So, uh, fun fact, tree fruit plus water equals heal potion, but we don't have the cookbook for it yet. And the only food that we have on us is this red banana, so we're going to go ahead and pick up some extra mushrooms on our way to the area. There's always a ton of... Triangle's the heavy attack. It's best used, like, as an anticipation, because you can do counter-hit damage for it. And if we're, uh... Oh, good, this wood staff. I guess this wood staff only has that slot in it. Uh, that allows you to, uh... Um, that allows you to, um, put different types of, uh, stones in it to cast different types of spells. I might just sell it later. I probably might just sell it later. And actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and take over here, because we avoided this earlier. So here's one of the talk we've done. So he just tells you that. Don't start attacking these guys. You can attack them. You cannot beat them. They're effectively unkillable. Um, this area will open up real, There's This area will open up later. You can see there's platforms over there and some enemies. We'll be able to do stuff over here later, but not right now. Uh, we could take care of that guy with a bow, but he's not worth the effort. As you can see, all of the different enemies in the game have bows, which I think is just fantastic. You see, this, this, the, yeah, that's why I sold that antidote mushroom, and they all spawn in the same place. It just doesn't matter. There are a lot of different directions you can go. If we wanted to bypass and go straight to the next area, we would kind of circle around, kind of in the direction we were going. We're going to go over here first. We're not going to break those pots because that's going to alert those enemies. We don't want to alert them. So that enemy will try and pick you up. Here, there's this hidden little alcove. And this tree always spawns flame fruit, which is great. 
and that creates some platforms. We'll no, we'll not worry about that for now. But uh, magical things start happening when you're cooking food, and uh, when you start cooking food. And uh, first things first, let's go ahead and put away that banana. We're not. Gonna and let's go ahead and put away the light mushroom, so we're not going to need it. I'll go ahead and keep the end of that mushroom for now. You'll find stash boxes hidden in the world sometimes. Um, I guess that there's like a little bit of wooden stick hidden behind there. So let's cook some stuff. We can only cook and mix the... We can't mix anything right now. We can only cook the most basic stuff. We can cook some meat. Um, we can cook some mushrooms. Meat is worth 50%. And when you cook it, I think it becomes worth like 70%. Mushrooms, basically just cooking stuff, makes it last longer. And then it also uh, increases the amount of what it's worth as food. Uh, so let's go ahead and take out... I thought I was putting a bunch of plants. There we go. Let's get that out. Take out... We'll go ahead and take out the... Um, we'll take out the fish. We'll take out the meat. We'll cook a little bit of everything. Cook meat. We don't have any salt fruit on us right now. Uh, we need meat, and uh, I guess you don't actually need that. Salted meat's really practical. Let's cook some meat. We got some cooked meat now. Cook some fish. Let's cook fish. And we've got some. Fish. And that's the other thing is this is the magical thing. So you had a meat and a flame fruit, so it converted both of those into pieces of cooked meat, and both of the fish, and now we've got two cooked mushrooms as well. It's a magical system. That's really player favorable. And all of those pieces of food are going to work so much that we really don't need to be keeping those around. We don't have any use for that wood staff, put that away. And now we're really, really ready to go here. Oh, by the way, I'm also going to show you something. So these are going to... Notice that poison mist, by the way? Stay the fuck away from that. That's poison. Duh. You can also hit switches. There's, you know, there's some creativity there. And, uh, you can see there are some rickety platforms here. Well, you don't know that they're rickety until you jump on them. Now you do. So you see, I, you know, when I said we would come around the circle, that's actually that little area we came around before, the, the, the stealth area. So now we're going up the other way. So here's a trick. You can walk up these pieces of rope, and it requires a lot of precision. But if you use the guard button, it makes you walk in a line like this. Now we can use a bow, activate this, now we can jump right across! 
<laughs> Thankfully, you don't instantly die from falling. It's really good. That's another thing. If you do that, instead it just bounces you up. So now we've got another free copper sword. I just wanted to see if there was anything in that box. I, I pretty much knew there wasn't. We've got a lot of healed potions, so we're just going to go ahead and get another one before we cross, just to be safe. Just to be safe. Because getting back across can be very treacherous. Let's go. So as you can see, if you're not careful, and I wasn't really being careful, things can get pretty treacherous pretty quickly. So let's see how much a cooked mushroom is worth. 's always a magic potion I'm pretty sure it very almost always is a magic potion and we don't fucking need it so we're getting rid of it This is the entrance. We have the key. We can proceed. That door should now be permanently unlocked. And now, we're making great progress. Welcome to the Green Abyss. And I'm going to do some organization here. I'm going to break the video, come back real quick. And once we're through here, we are going to be ready. Once we're, we're, we're at the end of this area, we'll be fighting our first boss. We loaded down with crap. We kind of are. We kind of loaded down with crap. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go back. Push it because there's a new grave we can take care of. Are not, gloves and boots are not as common as you'd like them to be. Oh. 
And as I said, that pickled fish always spawns in the same spot. Might as well always get it, to be honest. Instead, I'm going to maybe actually instead of going to selling that alloy sword, I'm just going to put it away. We're going to go ahead and put away that. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take that out. And, uh, and sell it. Sell it. We're going to sell all these bone man soul stones that we can get. It's free money. like your core stats that you're going to end up focusing on over time. And let's see, we've still got Grave of Time. Oh, the Grave of Time. Yeah, that's... open to? Alright, let's take care of some of these graves first. And we'll go ahead and take that with bow as well. We can have a second one for another character. Let's take two more arrows. Uh, get a little bit of this here uh, Zelda going on. Look at that. This is a this is a really important tutorial that you can fire through those. I mean, these these bars basically arrows just go right through them. And also put those switches like that. Time trial to this one can be uh, can be difficult just because of the uh, it's you know it's it's hard to get the time trial done because you're just waiting for these uh, you're waiting for these white ones coming down. Here. Yeah,
sort of use that. So now, instead of having to go through the trial of uh, fortune, or the grave of fortune, we've got this. You go ahead and put this, and put this in a slot, and I like to put it right here, typically. Is this the one about elemental weaknesses? Nice, this one's already got a fire attack at it. It's not really showing it off. Oh, we're gonna want to hold on to that salt.
you know what, we're going to put everything away. This is great at times, especially when we're We can't do that one yet. Which one is this? I can't remember what the right one is. Oh. Oh, this one. Yeah, we're not beating this one yet. That's... That one's real hard. Looks like I'm doing, oh, good lord. I might not be able to get through this one. Check this out. So these eggs, put them here. Ice fruit. The ice fruit you keep in your inventory and it lets you, uh, you know what? That reminds me.
I am a, I'm recording Inferno Climber for the record. As you can see, folks, you have this ice fruit here. You've got this like blue wrap around on all of these. This means uh, the degradation of these items has been slowed down. And now that we have this ice fruit, and now that we have a bow and arrow, let me take you back to the training area, and I'll show you why we started growing the trees. God, this game rules. I forgot. I remember now, though. It's so good. The best. It's. Super creative. Looks like nothing. That's the that's looks the like, it looks like that's whatever. The, that's the big thing. Good. That's the big thing. It looks like nothing. It looks like absolutely nothing. Even the menu's coming up. Ah, it's, it's just what you need. Nope. Maybe it's not what you thought you wanted, but it's what you need. Oh yeah, it's, this this is good for this whole thing. Nobody looks at like chicken noodle soup and like, oh, I want to get, get in that. No. Chicken noodle soup, dude. For your new year's soul. My pink soul? Pink soul. So I can it on the morning. It's one of the best, but I need to get the bed. Thanks a lot to people. Sorry a lot to people. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm going to kind of lose. My roommate, the streamer, sold the face over there. Woo! Crossover. Crossover. Can we get a fucking wood shield here? Oh man, you can just grind wood shields from this chest. That's dumb. That is way silly. Day. And that means there's a bunch of yeah. That means there's another set of free potions. See, you could just cheese. You could just cheese this opening tutorial for a ton of stuff if you want to. I forgot to bring a bottle of water. That's fine. I'll make one. And you should always cheese stuff in this game. Well, the game kind of wants you to cheese stuff. Yeah. Is that I've gotten good enough that I don't have to. It's never like big cheese stuff. It's just like little things, you know. You deserve little niceties in your life once in a while. Bread and roses. Big pink and spanned and cheese. So we don't have the tackle ability. Yet, but we can, you know, we can grow some fruit. And oh, this is good. Yeah, we can grow some fruit. This wood arrow here. Bop. Baby bop. Boop. Baby bop. That's how fruit grows. That's Bow. agriculture. Oh! <laughs> so this tree, this tree is one of the better ones because it grows a bunch of the random fruits. Uh, now we've got bananas. The bananas are great because you actually want them to go bad. You let them go bad and they turn into ripe bananas and then they're better. Uh, and then you have these ice you have these ice fruits, and the ice fruit are basically just refrigeration. You hold on to them, they make your stuff, you know, degrade not as bad. And now we've also got an extra salt fruit for taking uh, uh, salt fruits are really good against jellies, and spoiler alert, the first boss is the jelly, so we're just gonna throw hella salt fruit at it. Matter of fact, I ought to just fucking I ought to just cheese salt fruits. I think I will. I think I will. I've never actually cheesed the first boss doing this. Wait, 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 this realism in this game is so, like, tight that you can salt the slimes like a slug? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's incredible. I mean, I'm not gonna demonstrate it because it's not worth the resources, but, like, yeah, if I threw a salt at this, if I threw a salt at this, it would be incredible. Cool. So if you die against the first boss, 
a chicken will go up and tell you, hey, this the you know this this boss is against is weak against salt fruit, and it'll give you salt two salt. Fruit. A chicken. Yeah, a chicken. God, the realism is here. It's just like, well, what, never happened? No, I've never spoken to a chicken. Salt? Where do you get troll? Where do I get salt tree? Oh, salt fruit. Mm. That is that is the one thing. Yeah, there's, there's salt fruit. It's it's a verisimilitude simulator. Isn't that redundant? Yes. <laughs> it's got sim in the name. Verisimilitude. Is that another girl that tree? No, that's just a small tree. Okay, that's weird. Need to get rid of one of these salt fruits, though. There we go. Yo. Yeah, I'm gonna grind out a bunch of salt fruit, and that'll mean we can just cheese the first boss. Oh, nice. I think I got two on this. No, I did not get two, but I did get an extra ice fruit. You want as many ice fruit as you can get. It's good. Unfortunately, you cannot cook the bananas. I think that should be that should be top priority for Inferno Climber 2, fried plantains. This is so stupid that I can grind out wood shields from this. <laughs> Those cost money.
yeah, that, that purple dust, that's poison. You want to avoid that like, uh, like the plague. So what we're going to be doing here is looking around for the, uh, we're going to be looking for the boss key and the fight the boss. I did not know that. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Check this out. Here's a fun one. Take care of that.
doing that did is activated these floating platforms here, which were stationary before. So there's a key to open this door, but uh, I've never done it that way. And I'm sure you can take a guess as to what I'm trying to do. is your That's just a nice little example of things you can do in Inferno Climber. So here's, so there's fall damage in Inferno Climber. You want to avoid it. But uh, we are going to take a little shortcut with a trick you're going to want to learn. Look at that. And uh, that switch activated these things, which weren't here before. And uh, there's nothing on the ground we really need around here, so I'm going to go ahead and take this guy and open this chest and see what's in it. Yeah. 
experience. Oh, shit. is very dangerous. Don't get caught. Exceptionally smoothly. I still have no idea how to get into there, by the way. Nice, nice, nice. Actually, now that we have water, we're going to take a little detour. Nice! Because that's one thing, I actually forgot to bring some water. Leather boots. We have made wise decisions. Yeah, let's take those shortcuts.
So that tree grows uh, pro poison fruits and oil fruits. Oil fruits are the really important one. Oil fruits are really, really good. That opens up a teleporter in the Guardian Forest that lets us bounce right back here, which is very good stuff. So now that we're getting deeper into this area, we're going to have to start being really careful because we're going to be treading close to some poison mushrooms. So because we talked to him earlier, he has changed positions. There are actually three different talking points, and they will all change positions every time you talk to them. Um, and that's most of the side quests. And when you complete that side quest, you get a set of gold, which isn't even really that hard. Oh, this is pretty much an instant kill for fish. Obviously, meat is the most valuable uncooked food because it does 50%. But the more you play, the more you're going to want. Just not do that. Okay, so obviously this is scary. Just, just be careful. That's all you got to do. That roll is partially invincible, which I think is part of why I escaped that. And actually, now that we've uh, now that we've done that, that actually takes you directly to where the boss is. So that's good stuff. So ahead of here is they warn you. do this right, we should be able to use salt fruits to just completely change this.
Oh, this is not good. But that's, that's okay. Oh, I did. I did. I got him. I got him. Nice. Turn bottle to return home. Am I out of hours? Yeah, I got one real fruit. That's fine. Oh, I've got some ceiling arrows. Uh, yeah, I'll blow a few of these. That's fine. Not a wise use of resources, but I've never been that smart. And now that we've got them, so don't drink the return potion. Actually, I think if you try to drink it, it just doesn't do it anyway, but. Yeah, it just, it just does that instead. So this little thing, it's a teleporter. It takes us back home. Now that we've taken care of that, we 
we've gotten this purgatory stone. Real typical video game stuff. We're going to collect five of these and that'll trigger the end game. One, one twist though. Death site. As you see, he'll uh, get the if he wants the bones. And he's given us this uh, this Smith housing stone. I tend to put it here. Unlike cooking, smithing is just done is just leveled up by by doing it, uh, which is super broke for me that we will eventually find. We're gonna go ahead and. might sound like it makes no sense, but these bosses will actually recur later, uh, optionally, as part of a boss. So we got that. And thankfully, we still have, if we want to, we can hold on to this guy. But it just adds physical defense and magic defense, so we might as well sell it. This is worth a lot. And that book is on the way. Draw that money. Now that we have that money. See, we got a bunch of XP for that. We don't have any magic stones to set, do we? But one of the reasons you're gonna wanna. One of the reasons you're gonna wanna. Well, I'll just show you. Let's get off this button. gotten a bunch of books for, uh, no, I guess we didn't get that many items. But one item we did get is we got this book called, uh, uh, we got this book called Read the Bow, Know the Bow. A lot of the items have, uh, K Kyoto is an art that loves and is loved by all. It encompasses all things. Assemble the parts included with your very, with every issue, and you will complete your very own large Japanese bow. Unfortunately, you don't. That's 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 an unfortunate thing. Is you don't get a large bow out of those. But uh, reading bows, bows are usually very asymmetric. Uh, it, it increases the maximum number of arrows you can carry per stack. So say if I were to buy fifteen of four, now I can buy I think up to thirty per stack. All stack into one stack. Yes, it does. So we're gonna want all that. We're gonna get rid of money. All of our equipment is fresh. And uh, now we're really starting to, you know, we've got our smithing table, we've got our book table. The last thing we're gonna need is a uh, is a cooking table. I think we're not actually gonna be able to get that until we beat the next set of the next uh, dungeons, basically. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the graves that we have yet to conquer, and I think so far, you know, the Grave of Water, and the, 
Grave of the Odd. So the big thing is, is when you die in these graves, um, at least if I remember correctly, it's not actually that big of a deal if you die in the graves. Like, you don't actually have to, uh, you don't have to, like, do a corpse run. I know I haven't shown off corpse run yet. Um, but, yeah. And the Grave of the, um, that said, I'm not entirely sure. That's why I don't want to do the Grave of the Odd yet. I'm going to see if I can remember which one the Grave of Water is. And let's see here. What's the sign say? Oh, this one. This one's really easy, if I remember correctly. So this is just... Use the roll. Let's you go under this stuff. Also just use your shield to... You need to be very careful about arrows like this. Yep, that's it. Now that we've done that, uh, the real reason to do that would be to do a time trial. The interesting thing is that, like, you actually get, like, a lot of generous, uh, way on when the clock starts for the time trials. So you'll notice, like, I had a lot of time to, you know, before the clock actually started, and so, you know. Here's another bow stone. Feather. I remember, I remember Feather being quite good. Yeah, yep, 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 you can fall from a place and, yep, basically uh, significantly reduces falling damage. We'll go ahead and put that one away as well. We don't have a bow large enough to fit it. Um, let me... So you'll see this is a level 3 bow stone. You can see the size of it, so let's compare it to the bow that we actually have. We can only fit a level 1 bow stone in there, and we don't make sure. I don't think it's pulled up. I don't think it's a level 1 to 1. Let me take a look. Oh, I do. Let's uh, bow attack, bow range. Take the bow, bow range, right? that'll be better. We'll do that, just set a magic stone, take that, take that, and arrow range up. You're going to want to prepare your equipment with every chance you get, because eventually you can, eventually, you can just eventually get it to a point where you can repair your equipment practically for free, and you, you know, run into almost zero chance of your equipment breaking, and that's just, that's good stuff. You just, you want that. Um, before we go to the Grave of the Odd. So this guy, so we have the one, so we have the three nests back here. By the way, say hello to the chick. The giant egg that we placed here before is now hatched into a chicken. That chicken will eventually grow into a um, into a large chicken, and that chicken will eventually start laying eggs. So that's a source of free food. Speaking of which, let's go get our free food here. Always nice to have raw fish. Always have every food. We'll put the, we'll the rockfish away. We don't need that. But the other thing is, is he's also a new. Every time you get one of these new big buddies, uh, they have uh, they have new stuff. And that thunder staff he sells you is actually empty. Uh, that's useful for reasons. Like, Let me grab some money. But all that stuff isn't blank. So that's all we need. So he says fire insurance. Uh, we've had the we have the the, uh, the death certificate, which means that when we have a dead person, we can go back and revive them. Um, fire insurance is actually really important um, because you can be burned, and when you are burned, uh, paper items on your body uh, will paper items on your body, including uh, death certificates, which are obviously very important, will burn up. Uh, if you buy fire insurance, anytime you're burned, the fire insurance will burn up instead. Other items that can be burned include um, 
your ice fruit. So if you have, so it, there's like an order of priority. It's like if you get burned, if you don't have anything on you except paper items, your paper items will burn up, including your death certificates. If you have a ice fruit, the ice fruit will burn up instead of your death certificate. And if you have fire insurance, that will burn up. So theoretically, you could be burned twice before losing your uh, death certificate. So it would be like you get burned once, lose your fire insurance, get burned twice, lose your ice fruit, and then get burned three times, lose your uh, death certificates. So that could be pretty good. Um, or actually, that's really bad, obviously, but... Um, I'm not going to worry about this mage equipment because, um, you know, it's, uh, although that actually looks similarly good to the, uh, to the equipment that I'm wearing right now, but, um, yeah, we're just, we're not going to be too worried about any of this right now, at least not until we start to go and, at least not until we go to the second dungeon. It's not a big deal right now. Iron arrows are going to be way better than the wood arrows that we've been using, um, the good thing about this guy primarily is that he sells raw meat and raw fish, which are really, really good to have access to at this point. Uh, and that when you give him bones, he uh, gives you free stuff. I'm going to... Ah, hell, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. The Grave of the Odd is, uh, is a dangerous place. salt fruit so that you can instantly kill that. That's not a particularly well-made tutorial. They should have, like, just made that one of those uh, guys that has, like, a billion health and doesn't do anything. Holy water. This stuff's important. So the Wandering Skull Man... Uh, is basically a zombie. So this is what happens when you die. Okay, all right, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah, so it's, all right, that's that's completely fine. So this is what happens when you die. It, uh, it allows you to take control of this guy, and you can choose whichever the next character you want to play as is. Um, when you die and in one of those, um, when you die in one of those graves, it just places the corpse marker at um, the beginning of that area. It just places the corpse marker, you know, before the actual grave itself. So, we're just gonna pick one. And now I get a chance to show off. And I mean, yeah, I don't know. He just, that's all he was telling me is that you need a death contract to uh, resurrect that person. So, now we have one. I'm glad I'm getting a chance to show this off, actually. Yeah, there he is. So we use a death contract. He's now back to life. And we can now put it back to him. And that is how corpse running works. There we go. So yeah, that Grave of the Odd is, um, difficult. Or at least, uh, we're gonna want better weapons before we come in there. I mean, Grave of Wood we have yet to complete. I think we can complete it, and the time trial is a real pain in the ass.
Yep, so the big deal with... Uh, So the Grave of Wood is just this, it's just this platforming time trial. So really the, uh, the secret to it is that you either need to have a ton of stamina ready to rock, or you need to, uh, um, you, you either need to have a ton of stamina piece of, of, of the haste spell or the item. There's a there's a there's a haste spell that we'll find later that will actually become really crucial. Um, and there's also a uh, speed scroll which does the same thing. Significantly less common. But... So we've got that. Um, I'm gonna try one more time to do that. But the thing is when it tells you that it's locked, basically that means that you have um, Basically, that means that you're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to progress. So you need to do that. actually, you know what? I'm going to do this a little differently. That gives us flaming arrows for free. That's actually quite good. I wonder if I have a staff that can use that. Because it's not going to be this one. Because as you can see, let's uh, so it already has the uh, the level one thing locked into it, and we can't take it out. It has a different slot, but we don't have a we don't have the kind of stone for that. So we're going to put that in. Deposit that, and we're going to take out a wood staff. Perfect. Perfect. Set magic stone. Yes, we can. Perfect. And so now, this is really good. We can equip this. This will give us dragon arrow. And now we have all of our wood arrows will become um, fire arrows for the time being. And with this, we can go ahead and do the time trial for the uh, for the grave of hunters. Auto saved. But it's not going to auto save again until you leave. So now we're just back here. This is a good way to grind time trials. Obviously.
Bang. And now we have a cherry wood bow, which is, as you can see, a massive, um, you know, plus 53 to the attack power of the bow. So we're going to have a strength requirement. No, it doesn't. Wow, that's crazy. Let's do a comparison here. Uh, the, the range is slightly weaker, although we can fix that. So let's take out that magic stone, and I'll we'll apply it to this. And I wonder if we have any... Uh, Now the arrow range has gone down, and that's buffed up. So you can see there's uh, this bow is a massive improvement. So just pull away this regular bow. Pull that as part of the equipment rotation. And we are actually going to bring both of these wood stacks with us. Get used to this. Get used to having, you know, like a sword, a bow, and then multiple stacks so that you can cast multiple types of magic. Let's go ahead and take care of that. But then that should be fine. We did use almost all of our money in that. That is, that is just dandy. That is completely fine. Now, now we're ready to take on our next thing. Real quick. Yeah, let's go for it. So now that we've... Uh, so this switch wasn't here before. I didn't even bother showing it to you, but, you know, this switch wasn't here before. And I guess that's... Oh, that's actually a free stack of wood arrow. I should have I remembered that. That's okay, though. Um, I believe there's an oil bottle right here. Oil bottles are... Very important. Very, very, very important, but I'm not going to bother explaining them right now. Just uh, don't lose them. Just just don't lose them. I mean, they're, they're really important. We're going to go ahead and put it away for now. I don't think we're going to need an oil bottle anywhere in the next dungeon. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some pro tips. Those guys are gonna be a pain later if we don't take care of them. Now. So we're gonna go ahead and draw them off their path. Um, I wanted to consider investing in some iron arrows, but I just didn't have that much money though. That's completely fine. As you can see we're doing a lot of damage. Functionality of elevators is a little, uh, is a little suspect. It's fine.
see that happen. So I lost my ice cream, which is not great, but thankfully we have a bunch more. Those uh, those fire guys can be can be a real pain. They could just be a real pain. Shield burn up? Do they not bring a shield? Oh my god. Oh, that's oh, so stupid. No wonder I was getting fucked up when I was so dumb. Oh, that, 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 is, that, is, that is really, really dumb. Wood ropes. Got them. That's important for later. Um, I'm not even going to bother holding on to that. So there's a little patrol here. Dogs are really annoying. to just about any enemy. Just kill them before they have a chance to hurt you. Oh, yep, and that's, uh, I don't do a lot of this, but the, uh, you know, when you eat a banana, you get a banana skin. You saw them a little bit earlier in the Grave of Wood, but yeah. They do exactly what you think they do. I don't find them, I, I never use them. Okay. Don't go that way. Just don't. See that door? Don't go that way. These enemies, there's something else. Yet? Okay, yeah, so this is uh, They have the same kick ability that you do in Dark Souls. If you press heavy attack while blocking, you can kick them. That's mostly how you deal with shield enemies. So this guy's gonna see us. Just be ready to block when you get to him. That is mostly how you deal with garlic. That's nice. Garlic fruit is pretty much for cooking. attention here. This game does have mimics. They're hard to tell. One way you can tell, if you swing on them, no interaction. None. Just ignores them. Whereas if you hit a chest, and don't do this to the because you can break the chest. You know, the chest actually acknowledges being hit. Another way you can tell, 
You see that it, kind of teeth pattern on the side? That means it's a mimic. You have to close this chest. Regular chests, they got like this kind of star pattern. Mimic chests have that. Don't bother opening the chests. There's, there's not really anything in, in them except a mimic. It's it's uh, it's bad times. Let's see if I can. Uh, Where do you go? Yeah, whatever. Oh, I don't know why I have this. Yeet that dark meat into oblivion. That rotten meat. I don't know why I said dark meat. That's uh, that's weird. <laughs> does exactly what you think it would do. I can't remember if hitting it will make it explode. Nope. Doesn't, uh, does not explode unless you actually hit it with some sort of, you know, flaming reactant. Be wary of traps. Always be wary of traps the later and later you get into this game. So let's see. Yep, there he is. Pressing this just activates that trap. Just you know, be careful. Nice. Those leather gloves should be. They are an objective improvement. So now we've got a full leather set. Not that that uh, not that that really means much for us. I don't think this game has that. Uh, Know, that uh, that leather set thing, or that that full set bonus type thing. So as you can see, there's another one of these rope walk things. Uh, so we can do that. We could go get that sword. I'll come back for it in a bit. We need to be very careful here. This is I forgot to bring bombs, but. This is why creativity is important. We're going to do this. Now we have flaming arrows. And now he's hitting the arrow. So that enemy throws bombs. Bombs will burn you. They'll get rid of your ice group. They'll do all that. They're, uh, I would say they're the most dangerous enemies you can find at this point in the game. So now we have the Castle West Key. I believe that going through that, uh, doing that and all that makes these enemies uh, I've never been able to uh, objectively prove that. It's like a, you know, it's like a doom quake type thing where you activate that and then it makes enemies spawn in. West Key. It's time to eat something. I don't think there's any other dra Oh, you know what? Oh, shit. And yes, there is fall damage. Obviously, I remember telling you that. I don't remember that enemy spawning. surroundings, folks. But actually, yeah, now we're gonna, instead of taking the long way back around, we're gonna, because I believe if we go down, 
I remember there was this lock. Yeah, there's this locked door here. Oh, that is the castle one. So. That's a trap. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and clear it. So now the door's going to lock. Just don't be afraid. Capturing demon eyes are quite frankly a lot easier to deal with because you don't need to go to the Oh shit, I didn't catch that. Shit, that's not good. Okay. Being coated in oil is uh, not good because when you get coated, when you, get, uh, when you slip and fall, it makes stuff fall off of you. It's, uh, it's a pretty annoying mechanic to deal with. Thankfully, it doesn't ever seem to unequip you with stuff, but just don't screw with it. Uh, also, being covered in oil uh, means that any fire damage you take will burn you, and uh, it's bad. So, actually, we're gonna, yeah, we're not gonna fuck with that guy until, until we're, uh, yeah. So, I guess breaking those barrels open, I guess those barrels are full of oil, and that's how that works. Let's take a look at our inventory. We got a lot of bones, we got an empty bottle. I don't think we're gonna need an empty bottle for anything, we'll get rid of that. Our meat is still doing good, so we're going to refresh ourselves with mushrooms instead. I don't know if there's any way to... Yeah, I don't know if there's any way to get rid of an oil coating faster. put an effort. I would probably edit in something there, but... Let me take a look at something. Anytime I say that, I'm usually just uh, checking the recording. 
Okay, we're going to push this one a little bit further. Um, let's see if I can make it to the next key or something before I end the recording and move on to the next part. All right, good to go. And particularly advantageous in this game. Be wary of these. Okay. Yep. Gets us the cast least key. Perfect timing. So. So, you remember earlier I told you to cut down that, uh, to cut down those uh, ropes to, uh, to get rid of that bridge. To bring down that bridge. Oh, good lord. Cut the ropes to bring down the bridge. So that's what we, you can see the fruits of that labor. We'll do the same thing here. And now we're just going to drop down. And that's going to let us cross this bridge. Get another key. Now we have two keys, actually, the Castle East and the Castle Central. I know we're going to need both, but real quick, we're going to make our way back to the top so I can show you something. Boy, I sure like to up again. Lots of precarious situations in this game. You need to be really gentle. I'm trying to remember if either of these guys are statues. No, they're not. Okay, great. And that is... Oh, we're going to want this later. Silver Sword. Also changes color when exposed to poison, hence silverware can warn of poison. Interesting. That's that's weird. I don't remember that. It adds light attributes, and uh, what that doesn't tell you is that light attributes means that uh, um, you can actually kill um, you can actually kill enemies with uh, an undead attribute because otherwise you'll just keep bringing them back. So when we hit the uh, uh, when we hit layer areas, that's going to be really important. Oh shit. Gets us uh, a little closer to the original, to the initial area. I wonder if we can just. Yes, okay, so this is gonna help us cut around. Magic fruit, yeah, fuck it. As you can see, uh, those. Uh, Okay. Yes, yeah, 
always an alloy sword. Um, alloy swords are good for backup, but you mostly want to... Um, do I want to take a quick trick home real quick? You know what? Yeah, let's, let's take a quick trick home. Trip. Trip. Matter of fact, you know what? This is a let's play. It's kind of mostly intended to be a video walkthrough, recording footage, so I can help myself walk, uh, walk my right my walkthrough. Oh, that's crunchy. Oh, that's nice and crunchy. So now we have the Castle West, uh, the Castle Central, and the Castle East Key. Let's take a look at what's going on. Poison's enemies. Yeah, I don't even know what that... There's a lot of... I don't really use a lot of magic in this game. Oh, yeah, no, this just sort of went right. like what it is. It can be useful though. Nice, our soul stone. That's uh that's a shield soul stone. We're gonna get that later. Okay. 
Yep, I should have, uh, I should have been aware of that. Oh, shit. Hit from behind a fucking wall. That's, yeah, you really gotta be careful of that one. That's, that, that's an annoying room. I don't like that one. Mostly it's the, uh, it's the, uh, fucking, um, um, just, yeah, bombs can explode through walls, and obviously that's not very fun. Uh, I don't remember what's in that room, and I, yeah, but what I can tell you is that's probably not fucking worth it. Um, burn is obviously no fun. Um, we can go ahead and knock that, uh, oh wait, we can't actually knock that bridge down. Um, but this is, this ends up being like a shortcut later. I'll show you how this works. It looks treacherous. It is treacherous, but once you do it a few times, it's, uh, it's not a big deal. So the castle central key, that's what we used to open that first door that we did, and then this is the castle key. That's the best one. That's what it is. And, you know, you can end up getting a close of them uh, before you end up being able to do anything, but just, just get yeah, no. Obviously, I'm playing a lot of that. Yeah. Some very good drops. This room, hella treacherous. Be very careful. Is that a mimic? Yeah. Yes, so that's a mimic. Like I said, be very careful. You can always test, you can always check a, a chest by swinging at it first. And that's something you should probably do. Um, there's that. Both of those statues are enemies, so just get the fuck out of here. Let's go ahead and so obviously, yeah, we hit that switch, now the bridge is activated. Cool. Another bronze sword, oh, it's hard to argue with that. And that actually is important. Not much like meaningful improvement, but an improvement nonetheless. It's about time to eat this cooked meat. So I didn't show it off before. Um, that guy? That guy's dangerous. Just stay away from him. You are not... Like, he will kill you. Like, even if you're blocking him, he'll kill you. Um, he's got a magic sword. It'll just bust right through your shield. It won't break your shield, but... Um, it's bad. It's, it's real bad. Just don't fuck with him. Don't fuck with him. At all. I think I don't ever end up bothering to kill that guy until, like, much later in the game.
nice little return model. That's, that's good to have. Okay, so there's not a. All right, yeah, there isn't a. Uh, there isn't a stash over there, but. That's why you don't want to get I don't even know what's in here. One thing to note, if you sleep, uh, all the enemies in the area will respawn. Um, let's go ahead and talk, talk about that again. Yeah, no shit bombs can break certain walls. Yeah, real, real helpful advice there. You know, fucking water's wet, grass is green, Lamar Jackson's the best quarterback in football. Well, let's go ahead and sleep. And then we can also save... They offer that as a save point. Um, we are not really ready to go here. We need to go get more food. We need to cook some more food. Uh, because across that bridge is the next major area. And, um... But yeah, that does cover all of the, uh... That does cover all of the, uh... Of this area. I don't know what this area is called. What is it fucking called? Where are we? The Decayed Castle. That does cover all of the Decayed Castle. And, uh... Let's make sure that there aren't any, uh... Oh, hey, you know what? We're actually keeping up with the, uh, with the talkative men. That's, that's good stuff. Actually, is he gone now? No, he's not gone yet. Yeah, he can break, so yeah, boss can break certain walls. That's great. Okay, cool. Um, there's a diet system. So, you actually want to... You, you want to diversify what you eat. That's the short version. You really want to, um, you know, you want to... You want to not just eat, like, it, at first it feels like, okay, I'm just going to eat meat because meat uh, restores the most out of anything. And that's not entirely wrong, but um, if you eat everything, uh, you eventually get, like, if you eat enough of a certain type of food, you eventually get specific buffs for eating that type of food. Um, and it's, it's really good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, let's see here, that's going to be one. We've got the salt fruit to go with that. Though. 
and turn that into salted meat. We're going to cook that. And we're probably going to cook some mushrooms. And I'm not sure if we can cook an egg yet, but we're going to do that. So let's let's make a trip back to the, uh, uh, let's make a trip back to the um, let's make a trip back to the cooking station now in the forest. So this is what uh this is what getting poisoned looks like. So yeah, that's uh so the longer you stand in the pink purple mist, the longer uh, the more poison you get. chunking so bad right now. It never happens for me. This is why I run on low settings. This is why I run everything on low settings. But let's go ahead and get that. Eat it. Eventually we'll get a cooking table. Um, after the next dungeon we'll have a cooking table of our own. Can we cook an egg yet? Oh yeah, we need water. But do I have water? that those flame fruits always spawn, so you always have a source of flame fruits. Like, I don't know how much they intended people to really take advantage of the fact that everything respawns, but like, it's such a noticeable mechanical flavor in this game. Oh, by the way, you cannot cook rotted meat, but you can get, to, like, there's no time, like, you know, as, as long as the meat has yet to turn, you can still cook it. So just like real life, like, you know, hey, it still smells good, cook it. It's been sitting in your fridge four or five days, whatever, smell it. If it smells good, cook it. This. Dip. Oh, you know what, I might as well show off this. I never even bothered using it because we don't really need it, but this takes you to, uh... This might get us closer to the cooking thing than... Um, sure, let's try going this way. Oh, I really need to go ahead and get some more. Yeah, I forgot to get an ice fruit. Also, I should have just gone ahead and put 
Yep, okay, so that actually does make a nice little shortcut. So hey, now you know. Look at that, Warfling. That's what I was going to do with this. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. All the news. And then let's go ahead and take these mushrooms. And that ought to be more than enough. So look at that. We've taken just a little bit of food and transformed it into a bunch of food. By the way, if you, uh, um, there's like a glitch, so you can see, so that's the little spark that food, that's the little spark that items give off, and those items are actually dropping below here, and like, so, there, so there's items down there that I can't grab, and I'm not sure why, but I do know if you're playing Reborn instead of the original version, you get like way more at like you could just create like infinity items using cooking it's it's absolutely ridiculous what you can achieve with cooking i don't understand why you can do what you can do with cooking but like it's it's broke it's it's super broke on on uh on uh on reborn and it just wanted to make the game easier We're gonna make we made all these different types of food because we're gonna try and just like spread around the love a little bit. And that'll allow us to uh, you know, our, eventually our diet will uh, um, we'll find a thing later that tracks our diets. And um, eventually we'll get to a point where eating all of these different types of food is really, really, really rewarding. So last time we did some cooking to prep our to prep for our next big dungeon call. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make our way back to the, through the end of the decayed castle.
How much is the boil rate? Thirty-five percent. Okay, cool. That's a that's a that's a mimic. Be careful. Welcome to block pushing. It's uh, it's pretty simple stuff. So that'll disable the arrow trap, which is always good. I think we're about to be introduced to. Yes, we are. Say hello to parasites. Parasites are the worst. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna just fuck with these parasites just to show you what they look like. They will jump on you. When they jump on you, you get parasited, which uh, is, is extra weight in your inventory. Don't try to swing on them, step on them. And uh, if I break open any of these, so this is when you need to start being really concerned about like barrels and stuff like that. Um, at this point, that's when, you know, barrels become really questionable in terms of, like, you know, hey, there might be parasites in them. There might be some parasites in here. No, they're not. Okay, they're good. Let's see here. Oh, that wood staff is pretty good. That's a bomb thrower. You gotta be careful about him. All the uh, like the black looking skeletons. I guess they're like the idea is they're like covered in smut or something. Always, I mean, these guys are just—they're really, really dangerous. That guy move? Oh, there he is. Fish is worth a lot. Oh yeah, this is uh this is not a critical progress area we're about to cover, but you're gonna want to do it. Shut. Okay, so that's when 
you need a uh, you need an oil bottle to get back there. Um, we're probably gonna want to get back there, but I'm gonna come back to it. Uh, okay, now we've got uh, this is Whenever that happens, that's what that is. Happening. Doors are rusted shut. You use oil to, to bust them open. Unfortunately, oh, that's a that's a mimic. That is a mimic. Be careful. Be careful of mimics. They're not. They're bad. They're not good. So welcome to the most dangerous trap in Inferno Climber: the turbine blades. You have got to be careful with them because uh, they're they're dangerous. They're, The big thing with the throw guy is he cannot throw a bomb while he's still while a bomb is still out there. So just dodge a bomb and then you're good. And you're good. And I already have the boss key. Ain't that nice. here, but we'll figure it out. Let me check something out. Yeah, we're doing all right. Now, to get around, we're going to want to do this. So we went that way this is the first time. 
So just be, be aware, you can see those uh, parasites on the other side. There is a chest down here, but it's treacherous. I really wouldn't recommend it. I mean, some chests are, I mean, you know, chests have got like randomized loot, so sometimes you just have to find it. mostly like a trap if you fall down that platforming section. That's really what it is. Obviously real scary, just just be careful. This is why you wanna oh hey, here he is. Okay, so this castle interior key is actually really helpful. Uh, we're gonna see why in a little bit, although we're gonna need to get out of here before we uh because our bronze sword has taken a real beating. Maybe I should have brought another sword. But, okay, great. We can literally use it right now. We can check this out. This is the only time in the game this does this to you, and it's real damage. But here's the thing. The store's locked, right? The store is locked. But we have this key, so we can open it from here. So now we have a way to checkpoint. Basically, it's a checkpoint. Now we can go right back there, and I'll tell you for a fact, uh, the boss is like right real close to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out of here. We're going to dump off some stuff. We're probably going to fight the boss in the next episode. And then we're also going to clear out uh, a secret or two that I know about. That those are rolling the other way when you're going the other way, so you know you can't just like you can't run, you can't run against them. Oh shit! Oh, this is not really good. That was. Uh... Oh, I had a 
same bottle that whole time. Yeah, we're not using that. We don't need that. I think the, the gimmick is that every time you get to it, sometimes I guess a new trial will unlock when you beat a trial, but also a new trial will unlock pretty much every time you reach a new area. That's the gimmick. At least I, at least I think that's the gimmick. Forgive me. Fruit. That's always great. We're gonna. I think we're gonna start by. Yeah, we are gonna start by beating the boss. In, uh, yeah, I already have my on me. So we're gonna start by taking care of the boss in uh, in in the uh, in the decayed, the warped castle. That's what it's called, the warped castle. And um, and then once we've taken care of the boss. We're gonna go ahead and uh, clear out some odds and ends from the castle, which might be a little bit risky. Actually, you know, yeah, let's 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 do the boss first. Let's just. Let's just run. That's the end of his routing. Dangerous stuff. 
dangerous stuff. brutal. That's really rough. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Yeah. So actually, uh, <laughs> one scene will be right outside the boss instead of inside the boss room, which is, uh, seems like a no-brainer to me, but... Six hours. 
actually got to the second boss so fast that my uh, stats weren't really good enough for it. And I died. Innocent Prisoner has relatively high like base strength and all that, he's pretty good. Obviously one of the boots for him, which is kind of a problem. Um, but I'm not too worried. We're just going to the forefront here. It should be easy to it. But if the Innocent Prisoner dies, I'm also going to be concerned. Like if we die on our way back, that's that's okay. Too soon! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I need a break. <laughs> I'll be in a better mood once we get back on track here. That's a terrible shield. I'm not even gonna bother keeping that. Okay. You find out about these secrets from books that you can get later in the game. Looks scary, right? It is. For good reason. Matter of fact, we're not doing that first. Holy shit, I pulled it off. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Thank you. 
Nice, holy water. That's always good to have. That's always very good to have. Okay, so. There are lore books that you can find. And what's very cool is that when you find these lore books, the character that reads them, specifically the character that reads them, not all of the characters, the characters share the level ups, but not these books. The character that reads it gets 10 free points. And, uh, there's more in them. I don't care about it, because it's not good. But now we have 10 free points. Oh, no, I guess it's 5 points to spay. Oh, you know what? It's like 10... Hmm. I don't remember. There's another one of these books behind that bombable wall in the castle. And, um... Actually, you know what? Before we do that... We also now have this weapon called the Golden Axe. Oh, I need 24 strength to use it? Holy shit, I didn't realize it was that high. Well, there we go. We're doing all five points into that so that we can use, so we can put in. Obviously, this thing weighs a fucking ton. Um, let's go ahead and repair all of our equipment. Oh, do I not have any equipment? Let's do that. Deposit. And we're also going to put in our sword, because we are going to be equipping the golden fucking axe. Now we have the golden axe. And the golden axe is slow, but rangy and powerful. And we are in as good of a situation as you could possibly ask for now, in terms of being able to fight that boss. We're going to get some money because what we're going to do is we're going to buy a bomb and when we're done fighting the boss which was my original plan when we're done fighting the boss which was my original plan we're going to go uh, get that book and do even more We have now a weapon that is like twice, twice the attack power of what we were using before. Uh, the only thing to worry about with the Golden Axe is that it does swing a little bit slower, so keep an eye on that.
I'm not kidding, that's one of the most dangerous rooms in the entire game. That's like, you'll just, you'll get fucked up by that room. All right, we're about as well equipped as we can be here, so let's go for it. Oh, nice. We got two of them. We got we got both of the drops. That's the that's the fucking merchant for you. That's the goddamn popular merchant. Love him. My hero. This is a door for later in the game. Wow. How did I not one shot with a back? Must be under level. The game really must not be expecting you to move through it this fast. And another book. Oh, lol. I still have this in my inventory. No good reason either. Alright. That's finally, finally, the second boss taken care of. And, hey, you know what? Honestly, the game pretty much just gets harder from here. So... So I didn't get every single chest in that area, but, uh, you know, it's the big thing you'll eventually learn is that there's not that great of rewards for opening every single fucking chest every single fucking time. You end up putting yourself at a lot of risk. Stone number two. I should have gotten the golden axe earlier. Is 
the Golden Axe have a light attribute? No, it doesn't. It really doesn't at all. The one thing about the Golden Axe is that Golden stuff tends to, you know, as you can see, I, I you know, I swung it a few times and now it's at 49%. It can be a little undurable. Uh, thankfully, you won't have to rely on it for long. It's kind of a, uh... It's, it's a... It, it's an in-between weapon. It's not something you're ever gonna have to use, like, all the time forever. And now, of course, we've put a second Purgatory Stone back in, and that means we have another new merchant. Say hello to Grimmel. And now that we have Grimmel, we have maybe the most important piece, as far as I'm concerned, which is the Cook Housing Stone. So now we can cook. And I'm just going to go ahead and put all of these points into this guy as well. I guess different books are worth different points, or maybe I just had three different levels I hadn't used yet. We're gonna split them. Uh, you might, you might want to put points into life force early on uh, if it suits you. But uh, as you can see, every time you level up, you are getting life points pretty much every time, no matter what stat you're leveling up. So don't worry too much about it. Probably not actually going to be enough to... Oh, it is. Let's give up this bone. And once again, we're going to go ahead and place the boss... Um, the boss soul stone into the book. Um, this one especially. Trust me on this one. This makes plenty of sense. And we don't have a shield large enough, or we don't have shield slots large enough to get Curse Resist in there. Although Curse Resist, Curse Resist is really, really good, because Curse is a, a, a terrible, terrible fate. You do not want to be Cursed. It is not good. Um, I wonder if we have any... Wait. Did I, did I press drop on those? That's, that's kind of funny. This is, wasn't, that's weird. Okay. Set magic stone. We don't have a lot of money, but let's go ahead and take a look at what the uh, what Grimmel can offer us. First of all, uh, this is the refresh option. The refresh option is great. You know, just you can instantly restore your you can do, uh, you can get all of your food back to 100%. It doesn't work on rotted food. Food that already has rotted cannot be restored, but you can, uh, but you can, um, you know, like say you've got food that's like 19% or whatever, and this also works on ice fruit, so this is basically just, you know, you just spend a little money, get a refresh on all of your stuff. Um, he's particularly great because he sells oil bottles, and um, I don't think you ever need these, but they are good. Um, you know, he sells oil bottles, and more importantly, he sells oil fruits and flame fruits and salt fruits, uh, which are good for, which are good for cooking. They're good for cooking. So, let's check in on our chickens. Our chicken is happy and healthy, but has not laid an egg yet. I might not be remembering how to make the chickens lay eggs. We don't really have anything to cook yet. And we have a lot of tasks to take care of until before we go to our next task. So we're going to be sorting up some odds and ends. All right, ladies, gentlemen, and those of a non-binary gender such as myself, welcome back to Inferno Climber. I'm Geron Pierpaoli. And once again, you may be hearing the dryer in the background. And if that bothers you, I do not care because I am not getting paid. Huh. So... First of all, let's get a 
take that out of there. Get that out of there. We'll put this in there. And we'll go ahead and put another one in there since we've got it. And put the other, uh, put this away. And we don't need these regular leather gloves. And let's go ahead and take that out. Take that out and we'll put it in here. Oh, we can go ahead and put that uh, we can go ahead and put that lightning bolt back where it was. Or, you know, back in another piece of armor. I think you understand what I mean. Oh, where is it? Oh, take out here. Let's get that. <clears throat> put that in there to give us a little bit of lightning resistance. this. Now we've got a slightly uh, nicer set of armor. We've got the golden axe. Let's get out the let's get out the silver sword. We're going to need a silver sword as the game progresses for reasons that you will soon find. Um, let's take any food out that has any kind of degradation on it. I don't I think that's it. Other characters might have some more. Withdraw. We'll take out something. We'll find something to sell here. Let's get rid of this broken wood shield. How about that? This light wood shield as well. You know, and that's like, I mean, cool, but like... Oh, it's got some dark defense on it and some poison. You know what? We're getting rid of it. It's, it's, it's low defense. It's not good. Sell that. <laughs> we have all these ice fruits. And now, magically, they're all back at 100%. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So now we've got a bunch of ice fruit ready to rock. So, we've got a few things to take care of before we really head on to the next thing. So first things first, we're gonna... Let's, let's sell a bunch of these goddamn empty bottles, because we're not gonna need them. Let's... Put one of them back, just so we can have five bottles for water. Put some copper points away. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go back to the castle. To the land where the journey first began. Well, not really. But there is... There is one very good piece of equipment we can find.
Ah, I missed. I'll take it. I don't know why the fire arrow is setting me on fire. That's, uh, that's a little suspect. I really don't know what's going on there. Hey, good leather armor. Much better. We can take care of the slots later.
this. Use oil to remove the rust. <clears throat> this room's dangerous. Oh yeah, gold equipment steadily re uh, uh, gold equipment steadily re replenishes your health. That's what I forgot. Matter of fact, it should show off here. Yep, HP automatically recovers over time. That's a gold equipment benefit. fucking piece of wood, didn't I? proof about the gold thing, by the way. It's gone. You have to be equipped with the thing to get the benefit of it. Unfortunately, I forgot to, uh... Oh, it's real fucking dark in here. There's gotta be somewhere in this dungeon I can get a piece of wood. Actually, I do know there's a place I can get a piece of wood. Is it maybe in these barrels over here? Hey! Alright, good. I know there are other places I can get it.
you want to fight away from chests because, as I've said before, uh, chests can actually be destroyed. Not mimic chests. Yeah, I'm just getting drop after drop after drop. are going to bomb that wall, but we're going to make sure we got nothing else to take care of first. Now, if this... If this is the chest that I think it is... Yep, it's right here. Good, 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 good. So now we have a Thunderstone for teleport. So this is, uh... So you have the return bottles, and the return bottles are good, but now that you have the teleport, all you need to do is carry around a staff that has the teleport spell on it, and you've got the same effect ready to rock. And that door should open. With this switch. And that gets us the demonic rapier, which is a very good weapon. And that will actually spawn in the same location, I believe, every time, if I'm not mistaken. Um, did we bring a return bottle with us? No, we didn't. And we don't have a place to set magic stones in this area. But we can go ahead and get out of here. So now we've gotten... We've pretty much covered all the bases here in, uh... Here in the castle. But those are the two big benefits. The... you can If you bring a bomb, you can get the Demonic Rapier. Maybe since we're here, we could go ahead and cover some of the, uh, get some of the other, uh, get some of the stuff behind the other bombable walls that we haven't covered. I don't remember there being anything really worthwhile or good in them, though. Like, I just don't, you know, I'm not convinced. So let's get out of here. Probably would have been a good idea to bring a return model. That's one thing to note about the rapier. Rapier weapons have this, uh, this funky, uh... Backstep sort of thing. Demonic rapier is kind of like the demonic short sword in terms of, like, low stamina use. In fact, it's probably actually a better weapon in most cases than the Golden Axe. 
but I wanted the high, high damage output per swing of the Golden Axe because of how few opportunities you get to hit uh, Giant Bone Baker. Oh shit, get me out of here. And uh, much like the, uh, much like the, uh, so we've read these books, these books. Uh, we've read these books and uh, we've had, we've read the bow books and the bow books allow us to stack more, uh, to stack more um, arrows into a stack. It used to be 15 out of 30. So, contains pickup techniques to get more dates. Immediately asking where someone's from is good. Bombs are delicate maidens. A man who doesn't understand a girl's heart can never handle a cute bomb. Read this book and get popular today. You'll be the bomb. This is a collection of pickup techniques by the ultimate ladies' man, Sunyaki Blast. Kind of sus. This is this is a process you should undergo every once in a while. Just take out all of your uh, all of your magic stones and see if you've got slots for them. So we don't have any there. We could put. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to go ahead and put this bronze sword away. We don't really need it. Do we have a magic? No, we're going to put that away. Put away this wood staff. Take out... Yeah, we'll take a wood staff. We'll put... Teleport in there. I'll show you how teleport works in just a second. We need 12 intelligence to use teleport, so let's get our intelligence to that level. Unfortunately, it's going to take a little while. We still don't have any sword stones yet, which I kind of understand because of uh, where we are in the game. I'm wondering if we have any removable... Those ones, you see those asterisks? Those mean those asterisks means that they're fixed in there. They're stuck in there. So, like, we can't take Thundershot out of those Thunderstaffs. That's not, you know, it's not going to let us. Might as well take this out and repair it, though. If you put enough dark defense into something, you'll eventually get curse resist. So actually, that's what I'm going to focus on here. So now we've got a little bit of elemental resistances all around. Let's put away these mage equipments that I'm, not, I'm probably never going to use. Let's, let's move on from wood arrows. Other, what kind of other arrows can we get here? We've got black arrows. Uh, they have dark attributes. They also have many secret fans. So they have dark attribute arrows, and there's also magic arrows. Um, extremely effective against monsters that are weak to magic. I don't know. So I guess there's like a generic magic damage. Whatever. So we're going to buy... So instead, we're going to move on to, um, to iron arrows. Now, we're not going to need arrows that much. Might want to actually go grind some money real quick. As a matter of fact, I am going to go ahead and do a, do, a, do a money grind real quick.
don't let bombs hit the floor. That's why you need to be mashing circles. The bombs hit the floor, they will blow up. It's uh, it's a weird byproduct of how you know you know it's it's in the air, so it hits the floor and then it explodes. But hey, now we have nine bombs. Great stuff. You're gonna want to start carrying bombs around. This is also makes it especially important to not get coated in oil because that means if you slip and fall, bombs can fall out and explode and burn you. Yeah, it's uh, it can get rough out here. Okay, so uh, we have a few things we want to do still before we go on our next adventure, as I've been saying it. Uh, there's the Grave of Darkness, Grave of Fortune, and the Grave of Strength. These are all new. You have yet to complete the Grave of the Odd, which I would still like to do. And I guess the Grave of Wood. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. Because the Grave of Wood is quite difficult. But I have a very good idea. I'm gonna do something. <clears throat> Let's find a character with the highest base stamina. Max XP 100. Max XP 131. Max XP 191. Oh, that's a popular merchant. Max XP 80. Max XP 80. Max SP 120, that's a good start. Max SP 130, but that's a character that we've already... We might try it with him. We might try it with the Young Warrior. 155, I think I'm going to pull out the, uh, the Forest Hunter, a character I never intend to use for any other reason. And what we're going to do is we're going to pump this guy full of nothing but stamina. And that's going to give him more stamina than any character we have. And now we're going to once again try the Grave of Wood. That's the odd. Here we go. Because obviously the main thing, if you remember the Grave of Wood, the Grave of Wood is basically just a race against time. And so the main thing with the Grave of Wood... One good thing to remember is that uh, the stamina will cost, the jump will cost you stamina if you have stamina, but you can still jump if you don't. Here's our banana peels. Right. If you're looking for a good oh Oh that's that's yep, okay we lost. Alright, that's fine. As you can see this is quite dangerous. Confidence always helps. But once again, uh, every time we tackle the Grave of Wood, there are more rewards to be gathered for getting deeper and deeper. I don't think that one's still quite completable yet. Eventually we should run into a speed scroll, and that should help us to get to be able to do it. But now that we know, let's first of all, let's go ahead and deposit the money. 
So let's change back to... Let's change back to our friend, the Popular Merchant. You may remember before that we were facing a zombie uh, in the Grave of the Odd, the uh, the Wandering Skull, which is which is functionally the same as a zombie. Now that we have a silver sword, will we actually be able to uh, will we actually be able to properly fight that enemy? see that uh, the uh, the the wandering skullmen those those enemies they uh, they will resurrect if you kill them with a regular weaponry um, this this here grave of the odd is is very very precarious and you need to be very careful trying to be very careful because I didn't want to destroy this box. Flame fruit? I guess that's uh... I think if we eat a flame fruit we will be burned. Eating it will burn you. That is... so this is actually a common thing. We've actually aggroed the uh, the electricity sorcerer in the next room and their stuff is going through the walls. That's, uh, that's just a thing that happens. Uh, being hit with electricity is especially bad. Ooh. Uh-oh. I guess I have zero electricity resistance on that character. That's, uh... That's rough, buddy. The Grave of the Odd and the Grave of Wood are not really viable right now. We might as well take a look at the Grave of Darkness, see what's going on in here. No need. This room is supposed to be dark. I don't know why it isn't. Sometimes this happens. To be honest, I'm thankful. if the reward for beating this room is a is a lantern. Ah, yes, a free lantern. Lanterns are good to carry around. Lanterns are very, very good to carry around. This is the other reason that oil bottles are valuable, is that the, uh... Let's go ahead and complete the time trial for that, because that seems like an easy ask.
I think sometimes what happens is that the lighting engine does not work properly. And therefore, rooms that are supposed to be dark aren't dark. Even though I have the, uh... I have the graphical settings set to the highest. Uh, usually it happens when I have the graphical settings set low. Acrobatic. I can't remember what this one does. Reduces SP consumption. Oh, that's, that's actually, you know, that's actually a good one to have, and it'll really help with the Grave of Wood. But we still don't have any bows that are anywhere close good enough to, uh, to really do that. Okay, it's really funny that the torch is still lit. It's lit. Since we can't bring any items into that one. That's good enough. Oh, yes. Yep, I remember this one.
This is a fun little demonstration. We're gonna... I'll take the free mushrooms. I don't know how quickly you need to complete the time trial. I also just, I wish I remembered any of the time trial rewards. So I could focus on the ones that, you know, don't suck. Don't know why you can't get any regenerating items here, because that would uh, clearly be helpful. On. Yeah, like they put a regenerating bomb here, because clearly they have to. That was not far enough away. That was ill-advised. Oh, you know what? Why am I not back attacking him?
Yeah, one more time. Yeah, that's a lot faster. Oh my god, I hate making these fucking throws. Another flame bottle? Oh, come on. Yay! Alright, cool. I might edit some of that out. If not, don't get at me. Float. Allows you to move while attacking. Oh, this is a really... Joining a shady cult won't give you the power to fly. That's a, uh... That's a good one. That's a really, really good one. Ugh. Okay, so that's... We don't really have the means yet to conquer the Grave of Wood. 
And let's check all of these other ones first. So all of the ones that are lit up are the ones that have been completed. And if the time trial doesn't pop up, then that means you've beaten the time trial. Or that you haven't beaten it, but, you know, if you haven't beaten it, then the thing won't be lit up. So it's it's process of elimination. I know we did that. Uh, the Grave of Memories... Tiger shot. Uh, I thought it was going to be something better. Man, whatever. We are going to do just a little bit of grinding. Hey, there we go, perfect. get
These golden shining arrows are beautiful and divine. They look like some sort of super move when shot, but they aren't that powerful. The drawbacks are their weight and short range. It's also wasteful to shoot them. So that's, uh, yeah, we're gonna sell those. I've pretty much sold the gold arrows every single time. Don't really need the contracts. And probably don't need that, probably don't need that. That's plenty of food for a trek. And we should have enough intelligence now. How much teleport? Uh, intelligence 12. Ugh. Okay, well, we're gonna need to level up one more time. Wait, 540. I want to grab another stack. Ah, I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! Alright, cool. We've got a lantern. Got an oil bottle. Might want to grab another oil bottle just in case. Because we're going to need... We're going to need one to get where we're going. And return bottle? Let's just hold on to both of those. Uh, have I leveled up yet? Do I have a point to spend? No. Okay, one more time. One more time. Cool. 
So now that we have enough the requisite intelligence to do so, check this out. Hey, look at that. It's a fucking, you know, it's a return bottle. You know how it is. So, in the forest, there are many purple poisons to repel intruders. Poison disappears after some time. Once poisoned. The enemy doesn't see you. Okay, cool. Now he's repeating himself. I'm trying to see if... I'm trying to see which one of these guys is going to tell us something useful. It's important to eat a good balance. Don't be picky. All food will decay and rot. I guess they just expect you to remember this little door, which, fair. So, Here's the entrance to the Green Abyss, you'll remember. You can pour it on the door with R2 plus triangle. It's rusted shut. Once again, we need an oil bottle. And we're not going to need that, so we're going to yeet it. Oh, did I remember to bring bombs? Yes, I did. Oh, hey, there's another tree here. I forgot. You know... The good news is I'm pretty sure that, uh... Yeah, fuck it. I think that door will stay permanently open. If not, we've still got a uh, an oil bottle to work with, but let's take out... That's the second tree, or the third tree, actually. So let's go...
Might as well grab what we can from this tree. I don't need nearly this many fucking heal potions. We're going to put some of them away. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool, so it does. All right, now we've got enough water. Should be fully grown now, so it should sprout some fruit, good. The garlic fruit isn't going to do us much good for now. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Let's just go ahead and take care of these motherfuckers.
So the, uh, yeah, the spiked enemy. These guys can be a handful. Fucking excellent. So there are multiple directions to go here. If I remember correctly, almost everything in this direction is pretty much optional for now. But we might as well take a look. Nice, a bow stone for attack. That's that's good stuff. Obviously, these uh, these these terrains can be treacherous. That guy's hard to reach. Like, really hard to reach. Oh, shit. Got me. This is why you don't spend all your goddamn arrows. You know what? I'm just going to go for this, because here's the thing. I don't know if there's any, like, I don't know how you're supposed to do this, but here's the way I've always done it. Here goes fucking nothing. Got it. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, that's the only... Iron arrows? Iron arrows. Well, now I'm just insulted. So, yeah, you can, um... You can hop after you've fallen off of a ledge. There's, like, you know, the coyote hop, as it's called in another, you know, um, in some other games. And this is already getting... This is already turning south, so we're going to go ahead and uh, teleport our way out of here.
I'm going to go ahead and switch out the... Uh, At least now we finally have some uh, some of those parasite soul stones. Yeah, so these spiked... I didn't really say it clearly earlier, but those spiked guys, um, you can't touch them. I think that's pretty self-explanatory, but you need to actually space out your attacks a little bit. starting to see uh, sword stones. Boy, really a high quality water texture there. So, 
You might remember the electric uh, enemies from before. They're back. Your best bet is to... Just, you know, honestly, just take them out from afar. Get out your bow. So yeah, that's uh, that's a treacherous little lake there. And if you get electrified in there, you can't roll, you can't dodge, you can't do any of your critical movement, and you will die. It is a trap. I think this is a... Yep, that is a Mimic. Light Spear. Fun fact, the Silver Sword has the light element, which means that it can, uh, it can permanently kill undead enemies, which is obviously great. Um, but you can add that light element by adding one of those uh, light elemental dealios. Uh, as long as it says add light element, that's, that's one of the requirements. We'll, we'll return to that momentarily. Not momentarily, but, you know, at some point. Parasites. Not even once. That reminds me, where's the... Yeah. 
He's back in the Guardian Forest? Huh, maybe we'll go looking for him again. So let's find out where this takes us, because I'm pretty sure it takes us to... Ah, oh, yes, it takes us to the Black Rock Cave. Okay, we'll be back here in a minute. Don't worry about that. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and people of a non-binary persuasion such as myself. I am Durant Pierpali. This is Inferno Climber. And this is a treacherous room. You might remember that, uh, you might remember that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, soot-boned motherfucker over there. That's a bomber. That is a throw man. And he's as dangerous as ever. Actually, it kind of makes me wonder. See what we can do with some bows. Decent enough. did you guys show up? Oh, ceiling shillies. I didn't even notice. Well, at least now we've got a weapon that can handle these guys. All of those, uh, you see that trail of carcinogen, or whatever you want to call it, um, that'll slow you down, at least as I remember it, or it'll reduce your defense, one or the other. Uh, in any case, don't fucking touch it. You know better. That's what a, uh, Treasure Skull Man. That's what the, uh, that's what the, um, that's what the, uh, Mimic looks like. Don't fuck with them. I ran away for a reason. Those, uh, they have high health, they have high attack, they're very fast, they're very aggressive. And if you don't, um, if you get hit by them, you'll be silenced. And silence is a very peculiar little, uh, little status effect in this game. It prevents you from, um, how best to explain? It closes your mouth. It prevents you from eating and prevents you from drinking potions. Uh, it's bad. And the only way to cure it, actually, is to use a teleporter, of all things. There are no other ways to cure it. 
So if you are not careful, that will happen to you, and it almost happened to me. Don't let it happen to you. I think that's just a surface dwelling fish. We can deal with those. But that being said, your movement is obviously uh, much worse than water. I just wanted to show you around that area. Obviously, as you can see, there are not really any, you know, majorly useful pieces of stuff down there. There's nothing critical. sure how that guy didn't notice me. I'll take it, though. What's up here? Well, it's not a mimic. Just more of these sword stones. Handling isn't that great. It, I mean, you know, it basically reduces the degradation rate of the weapons, but, like, that's not really an issue. It's, it's really not. Just don't worry about it too much. fish. So as you can see, we've now uh, we've now circled the loop back up to here. And since we slept or whatever, uh, those uh, since we took a teleporter, a lot of those uh, a lot of those chests have refilled. You need to be very careful here, obviously you've seen what kind of waste can be laying upon you. This is part of why it's, uh, only, you know, speaking the absolute obvious here, but it's, uh, this is why it's good to find uh, strong weapons that can one-shot things. this put us. Is this the entrance to the desert? No, no, it is the entrance to the most hilariously named area in almost any game, the Thirsting Canal. Uh, the Thirsting Canal is really great. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad we found this first. Um... It's a little interesting to get through. I don't know why the frame rate is so bad in here. Maybe it's because of my capturing software. Ahead, Royal Cemetery. Okay, so this noble castle up here, that's going to be one of the late game areas. It's very terrifying. And uh, this is going to be a heck of a little climb. But we're going to eat some cooked fish and proceed. Oh, shit. this game has a mechanic similar to what uh, Dark Souls calls poise. Oh, shit. I think my poise is broken because I was uh, hit in the back, which makes sense. You may be asking yourself, Durant, uh, what's up here? Well, okay, well, you already know. The, uh, this opens up a route back to the 
um, back to the main base, which allows us, which is going to allow us to have a shortcut to a number of different areas in the game. And voila, we are now back at the mountain base. I believe this is always a magic potion. I don't know why they decide to give you a magic potion there, but they do. And you might remember this, that's the route to the castle. So we have returned home. Yeah. So last time, last time we did ourselves a big favor and opened up the shortcut. Opened up the shortcut from the... Uh, From the uh, from the Black Rock Cave, not the Black Rock Cave. What's the fucking area called? The Cave of Illusion. We uh, opened up the opened up the thing, opened up the shortcut from the Cave of Illusion to the Thirsting Canal. make our way back, find our way to the Black Rock Cave. And that's, uh, and then that's going to allow us to find our way to the desert. downside, of course, of the demonic rapier and the golden axe is that they, uh, they deteriorate quite quickly. You get used to it all the time. And I, th I think it's just the way they stand means they don't uh, see you. a lot of stuff around here, but it's not really needed. I believe this will take us to where we intend to go. By the way, it stands for, uh, you can't swim. Just let me know. Uh, 
The other thing about shock is that, as you notice, it uh, it eats at your health. It is bad stuff. Trap beneath the st oh, he's trapped beneath the fucking stairs. This is bullshit. You know what? We're pulling a mulligan. Anytime you're not happy with what's going on, pull a mulligan. Return to title. You can load up from the beginning of the area. Be very careful about it, though. Don't do it when you're about to die, especially on the PS4 version. I think we're going to have to make our way back across here. Yeah, well, we'll keep it. <laughs> That's the popular merchant for you. So these are uh, much like the... Uh, these are the same as the ones at the home base. You can place things here. You can place, uh, you know, cooking stones and stuff like that. which is and 
and thanks for the demonstration of how the spike walls work, because they work how you think they do. They're walls made of spikes. Don't get spiked. They will crush you. You'll get used to them. They're really not that bad to deal with. Bunch of ceiling goos here. I would just avoid them, honestly. I guess that guy's just stuck up there now. Oh, I got him. Eating it will cure burns. It can also cool down hot objects. Well, hey, at least it's not like instant death if you get fucking hit by one. If I remember, there is a... Oh, yeah, okay. Not sure if you can see, but... Yep, yep, to get a good look at that guy.
I thought he was behind here. I was wrong. That's why they put the holy water there, by the way. At least I think that's why they put the holy water there. Now, if I remember correctly... Uh, we can go that way, but we can also go this way. And hey, look at that. And the thing is that resting here doesn't actually save. It just restores your hunger and uh, all that. But I've got this big experience up going, so I'm going to keep rocking. This is a save point. I don't know why they separate those two rooms, but they did. In their... In their wisdom. Oh. I didn't think that guy would be aggroed. I was wrong. Handling plus five max HP plus 20. That's all right. And that's rotten meat, so we don't want that. This should create a shortcut. Obviously, you want to be careful in here. This, I believe, takes us to the desert. And uh, the desert is treacherous territory, so... Picking up a lot of salt and garlic. Hard to go wrong. Check this out. Did that... Did that kill him? I guess it did! Okay, so that was a gold parasite, I believe, and it just went flying.
Yeah, don't. Uh, broken weapons cannot be repaired. Don't touch that teleporter, if I remember correctly. Which means, of course, I'm going to do it. Oh, wait, no, 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 it opens, uh, it opens this door. Yeah, okay. That was a mistake. Although, I believe since, yeah, that's opened up a shortcut now. So that just opens up a short. That's just a shortcut. You don't need to be angry about that. I thought it puts you into a death trap, which might still be a death trap, but I can't remember. Or there might be a different one later on that is a death trap. Okay, this is a nasty room. I thought this one locked you in. I guess that's just the other room. And if I remember correctly, this is a cooking book. Oh, thank God, finally. Dragonhide helm, now we're really fucking talking.
Yep. Mimic. Not a mimic. remember correctly, this is a dark room. It doesn't open from that side, though. That's okay. It opens on the other side. This, yeah, now this is going to be dark. Right, yeah, and it's a one-way door, so once you're in here, you're in. And that's... that's a poison fruit. Poison flower? Is that what it is? Let's see here. This is a uh Lava area key. And what is this? My reflected youth. Ah, here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, I told somebody very. I sold somebody some very incorrect information. So that clears out pretty much all of the basic stuff from this area, and we literally have a full inventory. So let's get the fuck out of here. Let's read some books. And uh, there's some secret areas, but I don't want to go digging for them right now. There's one of those secret books you can find. But now that we have uh, my Reflected Youth Diary, uh, now we can do the parry move, which is really great. Um, mostly because, I mean, I, I, think the, I think the value of a parry book kind of speaks for itself. Aggressive bone. have my reflected youth diary. I won't fall in love again. Tamako Sakurano is an office lady who abandoned love. Her ordinary life is suddenly interrupted by a transfer order from her younger boss. The latest work by Michi Mi Michiko Spring is a love comedy about a woman trying once again to deflect love thrown her way. Can she learn to love again? So it's the parry skill. This is what it looks like. It's really fast. You can kind of spam it. 
Um, it's mostly good for deflecting projectiles, but you're going to use it for a lot more than that. We've got Blacksmith Monthly, and that's going to that's gonna make our Blacksmith even better, so it should be, like, super cheap. How much money do we have? Oh, God, was I carrying all the money the whole time? Oh, God, I forgot to put all the money away. That's embarrassing. But, you know, now it's, it's getting cheaper and cheaper for us to repair our stuff, and we're about to get to level 4. Um, and most importantly... Cooking is delicious and fun. Every issue will bring smiles to your dining table. From tonight's side dishes to tomorrow's lunch to simple dishes made with leftovers, every recipe will be taught in fine detail. Food researcher Dr. Rice Woods also provides points of advice. Even mushrooms will not. Which is a thing I thought we knew. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and give away these bones. Now we've got, hey, another Ironwood Shield. That's actually great. Um, is it better than the one we got? No, of course it isn't. But at least it can be for somebody else if we die. Put away this demonic short sword because we don't need it. And now's as good of a time as any. Actually, let's... Fresh all of those ice fruits. And we don't need more than one ever, so. Well, not really. And we can put away all these books, too. Uh, I guess we can see if we have any real practical uses for these magic stones. I don't think we do. Uh, we need to take these out of the dragon. You know, that, so we can put them here. Great that we now have a dragon hide helm. A helm made of dragon leather. Dragon's hides are strong against fire. Hence, this also has good fire defense. How many adventurers and dragons had to die to make this helm? Don't pay attention to that. Just equip it. That should actually, uh, we can't put another fire stone in there, but we do have, uh, it comes with a natural fire defense in it, so, uh, we'll put away these for now. Oh, wait, do we have, uh, yeah, that's loaded up. That's also loaded up. Let's go ahead and put, yeah, let's do that instead. I like that better. Put in... Get rid of these. So now we have... We've got a piece of raw meat. That's fantastic. Let me show you the bread and butter dish for the rest of the game. Let's take some money. You can get through most of the game with just cooking level two. Um, oh, we don't we don't have garlic meat yet now. Oh, okay, that's unfortunate. Is there anything we can make with? Oh, we still don't have any uses for garlic, do we? That's that's a goddamn shame. That is a real crying shame. But most importantly, now, hey 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 hey, look at this. This is when holding on to your empty bottles really starts to become valuable, because now you can. Uh, so let me show you a dumb trick before we go, because it is uh, it's real dumb, and we're gonna have a we're gonna have ways to exploit it even sooner. So you'll notice mixed medicine, heal potion level needed two number made two, water tree fruit. So if I were to take a heal potion, drink it, fill that bottle with water, and then combine that with a tree fruit, I have now transformed one heal potion into two heal potions. This sounds silly. It's going to get even sillier. Trust me. Um, unfortunately, we still don't have any uses for garlic with cooking. We're going to have to get another cooking level before we can do that. Um, but that is okay. That being said... Bottles of water. No, 
like, no. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it for now. Uh, we don't have any bottles of water. Let's go ahead and cook some, let's go ahead and make some salted cooked meat and some salted cooked fish and maybe some salted cooked mushrooms. Salted mushroom, yeah, yeah, let's do that too. Regular mushroom. Raw meat. Do I actually have two pieces of raw meat? I sure do. Alright, let's buy a piece of raw fish and we'll be ready to cook. And I know I've demonstrated this before, but it's one of my favorite things in the game. So let's just isolate. So let's isolate our inventory down to the foodstuffs, okay? Oh wait, we're gonna need the salt fruit. Take out two more pieces of salt fruit, and let's buy two more flame fruits. So we've got one piece of raw meat, one piece of fish, one mushroom, three flame fruits, three salt fruits, and an ice fruit. Believe it or not, we can actually cook with ice fruits later. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine pieces of food, right? But only three of them are actually like relatively edible. The mushroom, the raw meat, and the raw fish. converted that into nine edible pieces of food, which is, I mean, God, that doesn't even take up that much inventory space. Look at that. That's beautiful. Isn't it a beautiful game? Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, and non barrier folks such as myself. Once again, it's Inferno Climber, and we have a bunch of new pieces of meat and food and all that good stuff. And we've got, um, so... You've been finding ice fruits, and you might wonder, you might say, hey, food doesn't degrade that fast in most areas, and you'd be correct. Um, but we're about to head to the desert, and uh, yeah, they did actually program in a gimmick where, because you're in the desert, you have uh, more... Uh, because you're in the desert, there's more... Um, your food degrades faster. And actually, your hunger degrades faster as well. It's pretty brutal. Um, but you can, uh, you, can, you can lessen the effect of that by bringing a piece of ice fruit with you. And did I get burned by something? No, I still have my fire insurance. Hey, you always kind of want to have at least one piece of fire insurance. But of course, the number one thing is always, always put away your money. There are no merchants out in the world. Keep your money... Keep your put put your money away. Put your fucking money away. Okay, save your money. Um, and we are actually going to want the lantern, believe it or not, even though we are heading to a desert. Um, I may do a more cursory explanation of the uh, of the desert area. Probably we kind of did this before, but um, it makes the most sense in the long run to um. It makes the most sense in the long run to, um, how best to explain this? To, like, get where you need to go in an area and then, and then come back later and do the exploration. You could do a full exploration of the area if you want to at first, but that's a highly dangerous prospect. Let's see here. We now have the Grave of Release to explore, if we so choose. We should be getting high enough level now that a lot of these areas should be a little less dangerous to explore. And, yeah, just the Grave of Release. I don't remember what's in there. We'll come back to it later. Right now, we want to focus on, uh, we want to focus on, uh, getting to the, getting through the desert. And if we open up the shortcut in the desert the way that I want, I'll be able to show you the stupidest fucking thing in the game, I guarantee it. Might 
as well restock on iron arrows just for safety. I guess it always does restock a piece of magic potion there, but I've got a magic potion, so I'm fine. What's up, dude? What's up? Headed to bed? Hell yeah, I am. In the words, in the words of a cowboy from The Simpsons, BAD! recording Inferno Climber footage, but you know how casual I am. Let's show off this, uh... Yeah, look at that. And he's done for. Oh, shit, look at that. Um, yeah, that's garbage. We don't need it. This mysterious bow can be used without discomfort, even by adventurers with no archer experience. Intended for casual users. Cherry wood bow makes you feel like celebrating. I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate whoever did the localization for this game for, you know, preserving the, uh, you know, preser preserving the Japanese-ness, for, for lack of better term. Just, you know, there's, there's lots of, there's lots of little Japanisms. Because the Cherry Blossom Festival doesn't mean anything to any Americans outside of D.C. Except, you know, weebs. Two arrows out of the air. Oh. Oh god. Alright, get out of my way. Born. I'm not going to pretend that Family Guy was ever really quality television, but, like, let's not pretend that the European guy who was about to bone his girlfriend is not funny. He was totally about to bone her, and then she said there was no way. This still makes me smile. And, of course, the crazy thing about all this food, like, I mean, I'm carrying way way more food than I actually need because like all of this food like these cooked mushrooms I think are worth 40% by themselves but the salted mushrooms are worth even more than that so I'm going to let it get to 50 and then I'm going to eat a salted mushroom food only gets more ridiculous throughout the game I mean like food is a uh, you know really obvious statement here but food's really good Trust me, once we actually find relevant, uh, relevant applications for, once we actually find relevant applications for, uh, for the, you know, for the fucking garlic, I mean, the stuff that you cook with garlic is, is so good.
One nice thing the game does is that that reticle will light up when you've got a viable target. Or rather, when you're within hitting range of a target. So that's always good. Does this always drop the same thing? No, I guess it doesn't. Hey, HP guard. That's always nice. I get so fucking hungry. So that was worth at least 76%. I, uh, they didn't balance this game, and I'm very glad. It happens and you're arrogant. <sighs> uh, can you fucking aim? You know, when you listen to this documentary, there's no, like, actual extended interviews with anybody. It's just rapid-fire clips of different people talking, and it bounces back and forth between them. And it's just, like I said, I cannot possibly explain why this is so funny to me. Oh, man, I really did not consider the dangers... Fuck it. Let's get out of here. That went better than I thought it would. God, I didn't even... I really did not think about this at all. Don't get impatient when you do corpse runs. I'm gonna be okay, I think. But, like, don't get impatient when you do corpse runs. on Mimic Chest is also slightly darker, but I'm colorblind, so I can't really see it that well. Oh, 
Oh god, I didn't bring any food with me either. What the fuck am I doing? Well, the good news is we're already here. Not again, not again! Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Cool, now we can stack even more arrows. After feeling Kudo, you have already tasted it. Bitter and spicy, faintly sweet and sour, you must digest Kudo entirely. Japanese bow assembly has been cancelled due to certain circumstances. There's lots of honestly one of the th I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of glazing over it. I hope you've gotten to see it, but one of the real good reasons to stick around in this game is the flavor text because the flavor text is is phenomenal. Nice blacksmith level up. I think we've already hit basically maximum blacksmith level. And I haven't even forged anything, which you can actually, like, improve the stats of weapons with forging. I just think it's a waste of money. Probably should address that earlier. I've never had this many ice fruits at one time. It's really ridiculous. Actually, hold on. I'm going to use the bathroom.
I'll wash my hands, I promise. You've seen me do it a billion times by now, but I'll go ahead and vocalize it. You can always tap the guard button to end your run. And that's, you know, just, like, really efficient. I don't even, like, I don't even speed run this game. I don't think of it as a speed technique or anything like that. I don't think you... I guess you could speed run this game. I'm not sure how. I mean, like, if we were to look at the time counter, I'm already ten hours in. I think you could do this in segments. I think you'd have to do it from, like, you know, like you know, till first purgatory stone, something like that. Okay, here's a classic moment. Alex Webster is saying, you know, it should have been, you know, it's like everything's, there's so much shit boarded up around here now. It's kind of depressing. And then instant smash cut to somebody going, it should have been boarded up back then. That's, that's a classic comedic moment from Centuries of Torment. thing here as well where like I can I can aim but the lock on won't do it for me I don't know why I don't get it Shield filled with magic power. It also has, it has excellent defense against magic. It's also light due to being made with wood. Use the shield to guard yourself when the enemy is using a lot of magic attacks. Oh, okay. It's not always a wood shield, let the record show.
shit. Um, hell yeah. Do I have enough? To, yeah, I do have the required strength. Fucking, yeah, now we're starting to get iron shit. Even if you don't use the magic stones, they're good sell. Like, you know, magic stones are just good stuff. And you can, I mean, you slot them in your weapons and armor. I mean, the game kind of just gives you different ways to use different resources, and it's all it's 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 really good. It's really good stuff. route to the desert? Yeah, it is. Okay, welcome to the desert, everybody. The desert is why you want the ice fruit. And... I love this practical joke. There's a well. But, you know... Okay, so there are cactuses. I think these ones are not friendly. I don't remember the aggressive ones ever being here. I guess we'll take care of them. Ah, yes. Okay, I actually, I guess they actually make it this easy. Uh, yeah, this teleporter takes you here, which gets you really close to where you want to be. But more importantly, we now have, we now have it. We now have it. This always has an ice fruit. Oh no, it doesn't. Holy shit. I'll be goddamned. What does Life Light actually fucking do? I don't know what that fucking does. So... So this is the final tree, if I'm not mistaken. So here's a cactus. 
when you step when you when you uh, when you break open a cactus, it restores your health and it restores your hunger. And uh, you'll see that happen here. But there's also something that happens. I guess it might just be with this particular cactus. But uh, check this out. There's water in the air or on the ground or some bullshit like that. I don't know how to explain it. But now we have enough water to water this tree. Okay, now, yeah, naturalist, that means we've grown all the trees. And now that's going to bear us a bunch of flame fruits. And it bears flame fruits. In Reborn, I think it's more likely to bear garlic, but I guess they want you to get garlic from that one in the forest. But now we have a source close to home that just gives us flame fruits and salt fruits and all these cooking materials. Is this always a nice fruit? Yeah, that's always a nice fruit. There we go. Ahead, hot desert. So hello to this dog. This dog. Oh, wow, look at that. We've already maxed out on, uh, we already eat a lot of fish. So that must mean... Yeah, we have the fish lover buff. Reduces your MP consumption when using magic, as you see. Eating fish recovers your fullness more than normal. So, now we need to start eating more meat. We need to eat a lot more eggs, and we need to eat a few more mushrooms. Which means we could probably put all the fish away for now. But more importantly, we now have a source in home base that's an infinite source of water. There's, not only does that mean we have a source for, um, you remember that to make boiled eggs you need water, but more importantly, you'll remember something that I told you last time about health potions. By the way, you can fill, I've, I've filled more than 10 water bottles at a time, I want to say, doing that. Now this opens up. And hey, welcome back to Mountain Base. Welcome home. So let's put away the health potions we already have, just to demonstrate. Two, three, four. Take out. One, two, three, four. And we can make magic potions with magic fruit if we need to, but obviously we don't use that much magic, so it's not a big deal. Look at that. Eight healing potions. So now, you can go get tree fruits anywhere you fucking want, including there's this one tree in the major, in the regular forest, in the first forest, that just always has a bunch of goddamn tree fruits near it. So now, you can take those tree fruits... You can take those tree fruits, and now you've got a source for infinite water bottles. You can take your infinite water bottles and your infinite tree fruits, and you can make infinity times two goddamn healing potions anytime you fucking want. Welcome to Inferno Climber. And you've got all this fucking... Look at all this food. Look at all this food. Look at all these potions we have. Look at this beautiful, beautiful video game. And uh, next time we're going to conquer the desert, but I think I've said enough for now.